Welcome back to episode 53 of the Fuck Adam Schefter podcast. Oh, Rest in the Dwayne Haskins. Oh, my nigga. This is my <laughs> shit. <laughs> Nah, yeah, All my homies hate Adam Schefter. Fuck, yeah, fuck Bill Brandt, too. <laughs> and Bill Brandt. Was it Bill or Gil? Someone, I know someone else there. Nah, fuck that nigga. So this is my shit. This album was so far. This was my shit. I gotta let it go to the you know what I'm mad that they switched on the uh the, the track listing now? They updated it. Remember they, they had a song on there called Silky, and then it had a in uh in quotes that said no homo. Now it's just silky. They wasn't outside this one. Really. Yeah, they wasn't outside. That's exactly what it is. If you know like I know you should lie low. I used to get it in Ohio. I don't know what that even means. You look like a gyro. You look like a gyro. <laughs> Shredded meat. All right. We back. We bike. What's good, fellas? We bike. What's cracking? Another week in this thing. Another week. One up, one down. Wide, though. Fire early. That's a cool show, bro. Hey, what's going on? How many of you guys' weeks, man? Uh, good, man. I just just working. Uh, <laughs> Anything? No, man, I really got nothing special, man. Uh, I recorded. Uh, I was on. A, I was featured on a, another podcast yesterday. Uh, show you work, net. Shout out to my uh, my dog DJ Larry. Shout out Nelson. Shout out Youngin. I was on there just talking about all kind of crazy shit. Shout out to them. Shout out to them for showing us what's this uh stream yard? It's Shout like out to them for there. bringing the stream yard to the Critically Unfocused podcast, boys, because this shit is lit. Sorry, Zencaster. You to the side now, too. Not uh, sorry. Fuck Zencaster. What are, what are, what are I can't wait to leave my bitch for a new bitch. Hey, man. Shout out to uh, Stream Yard, man. <laughs> no, yeah. Time. We ain't upgraded. We finding ourselves. That's all that is. Don't worry about I'll it. Sure. I, I jumped on the uh, I listened I was listening to the uh, show your work pod you did last night. Blake would appreciate it. They did a whole eight minute five year foreign album breakdown, song by song. Produced, oh, yeah, he credit. Broke it down. yeah mm-hmm. he went deep. He did a deep a dive. New York, New York drill expert. He knew, all, he, knew, he knew all he knew the producers, all he knew all the, the rappers, the producers, the friends of the friends. I was shocked. No, nah, I do know that shit, in. man. He was locked in, tremendous. Oh, yeah, Dude, he's a big fan of the though. album that I'm guessing. He says all right. I think he said I think he said it was okay. It's a riveting review. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to Jamal. Yeah. Getting getting his collab going. Uh my week was 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 solid. Uh last weekend we went down to uh kick it with uh the man formerly known as Tonio. He who must not be named. <laughs> he who must not be named Tonio. Went down to Oregon uh, for his girl's birthday. Sh- happy birthday, Giselle. We went wine tasting. We went to Top Golf. Uh, hey, Tony o Swing. <laughs> that nigga got the form. It's only going left or it's only going right, but it looked good. Oh the shit! Okay, shit, the shit looked good. He get he was hit ninety one off the off the club. Like he was getting some speed. The, at least what Top Golf tells you. That's what it said. Ninety one. Miles per hour. Damn, I'm making that I'm like 91 yards. I'm like, huh? <laughs> oh, no, no. 91 miles per hour off the club. Uh, yeah, he was, he was getting some power behind that bitch. He sucked. He lost miserably. Amara kicked all our ass. Um, so that yeah. was fun. And then just worked all week. Helped my boy move today, which is never fun. But fortunately, he just moved one apartment over. So it was a quick. Uh, oh, okay. They ain't too bad. Boogie boogie. Mm-hmm. Got some wings and had some mimosas. So a little turned up right now. But we ready to go. I do have a question about the top golf. Okay, was that your first time? Uh, no, I've been four other times. I went He's to the one in Vegas. Top of the golf. I, I was hoping that's what he was going to ask. You went to the one where? Uh, we went to the one in Vegas twice, and then we went to the one in Oregon twice. 
I, somebody said, isn't there one like Kirkland or Bellevue or something? I feel like somebody said they're supposed they, to be getting one out. Landing, have, landing. Landing. They, they have like it's an indoor like simulated one. Studio. Yeah, uh, so you hit like into the like the board that looks like a or into the like projector screen that looks. Like I a think the Rinchin Landing one's like going to be an actual one though, ain't it? It's supposed to be. Yeah. 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 Mm. I can't wait. That's just fun. Like even if you don't really know how to golf, it's just fun. And like they got good food, got good drinks. It's always like. Yeah, it's always a good time. That shit expensive? Yeah. Not no. If you go on like a peak time, so like we went Saturday at seven, it was fifty dollars an hour. But you split okay. that between four, oh, six, yeah, eight people, however many people go, right? Yeah. Um, and then if you go like if you go like, a weekday, like afternoon up until the evening, it's like thirty bucks an hour. So it's not bad. Oh, okay. Like, yeah. it's not bad. And then the food and drinks are like regular, like Buffalo yeah. Wild Wings, like prices, and the food's good. Okay. The drinks are good. Yeah, it's a good time. I, I can't wait for them to make one out here. But I've been I tell everybody if I had like just the money, like the seed money to get it popping, I would start one here in Fayetteville because we're in desperate need of something like that for young people to go hang out at. And I imagine golf is probably like a relatively big thing down there, right? You don't even have to be, but it's just like you said, like top golf is just fun. It doesn't matter if people are into yeah, golf or not. Sure. Like everyone's just gonna want to go try. Like no one's into throwing axes, but that shit popped off. <laughs> for sure, yeah, for sure. With the escape room, rage room, axe throwing yeah. shit here. There's like seven of them now. <laughs> All exactly. Them. Yeah, and they're just they're fun activities to do. It's like so. Yeah, and yeah, there ain't something like shit. that. You're printing money. Hey, somebody start one in Tacoma because there really ain't like shit to do in Tacoma. They were gonna put one where um you know on Tyler Street off like 56 and Tyler like Moctezuma's. There's a driving range up there. Yeah, I know mm-hmm. they try to put a Top Golf type thing there, and the city declined it. Like the oh, like Tacoma Firs, that area, yes. Oh, I, think, right around there. I yeah. think so. That's the golf I don't, right there. I don't know, what, yeah. I don't know what's up there, but they were trying to put something like that up there. And the yeah, I, I mean, like especially if you're building on top of an already there driving range and just changing it into a top golf, like yeah. a lot of the work's done already. You just got to put the screens in and all that. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. now you're just Good. getting more people to come because people people be out there with their like actual golf clubs, like they be like for real in their shit. Because it's really, I mean, a driving range probably not as far, maybe. But it's a driving range with targets. Like, if you really golfing, you out there, and if you just want to get drunk and hit a ball, you out there. I got a coworker who was telling me about. Um, there's a Top Golf in Augusta, Georgia, right? And now you figure like Augusta, that's like heaven yeah. of golf, right? Like that's the one event of the year that every, all the big ones that people go to, and all that shit, right? She told me this Top Golf is a single level. Whoa. It is the most. Would that would even make no fucking sense, right? Tomato, tomato, tomato. That defeats oh, the point of top. Yeah, no, it, J- Jamal. So, like, if if you ever seen one, like, you know, the top golf, like, there sometimes, like, I think the biggest ones would be like four levels, but like yep. oh, normally shit. it's like two or three. So, okay. yeah, a the single flat three. level, yeah, um, at a top golf is kind of just weird as fuck, especially like when you're at a place like like Augusta, you got yeah. like thousands of people coming down there every single year. To That's come uh, watch golf or whatever, and there's like really good golf courses in the area. On top of that, it's like for you to y'all to build this this uh, bullshit version of a top golf here is kind of just crazy. <laughs> yeah. Um. Wow. All right. Uh, my week was cool. What golf. Is, yeah. the fuck is I about to say though? Um. Damn. I really don't remember shit from my week. But I'll tell y'all about today. Like today, like I took I took leave like PTO. Whatever, um, cause because what the fuck did I do today? Not shit. Well, I had to get my dog's medicine refilled, so I did that, and then um, I contemplated going to Costco, but I was like, nah, fuck that. I'm not trying to drive that far. So I went to the driving range, hung out there for like an hour and a half. Um, that was good because that's the first time I hit golf clubs in probably like four months. Not four months. Probably like probably like three months. First time I hit golf clubs. Um. Yeah, it was beautiful today. I really need to cut the front grass, but I didn't want to do that today. So I texted the lawn people. They don't reply back to me. So they're probably just going to pop up here tomorrow at some random ass time, which is going to be great. Um, Wait, yep. you, you got like a landscaping team that you just text and they pull up on you? It's just a company. It's just a company and they just set up things through text. So you just text and be like, hey, can I get the front cut here? At, you say your address anytime during the week or whatever. And then they'll be okay. like, yeah, that's fine. And they show up or whatever. And then they invoice you. They send you like an email or they send you a text with a link you can click to pay. That's so, fire. That's yeah, nice. it's, it's pricey, but it looks nice. Though. I mean, uh, sometimes I just 
be like my, our front yard is like mostly a hill too so sometimes i'll be like man it's just hot as fuck outside i'm not trying to do this nah i feel you man dude cutting the grass was the worst chore i hate it doing that yeah. shit i don't mind doing the back the front yard mm, go to hell but um did that and then um so i've been debating on whether and well it's a few things right so the, the tax return money like Normally, I, I make stupid decisions. I make just buy like shit that I don't need. And this mm-hmm. year, it was going to be a graphics card, another one. After I bought one, like the same time last year, I think. Um, my graphics card I bought last year is a 2080 Ti. It's um, of the last generation of NVIDIA cards. It was the top of the line, like the, the fastest card that they had. And I was going to replace it with like the fastest card that's out now. Um, 3090. Sorry, 3090. My bad. Let me not take it in off. What's that? What's that? That's them what eight eight sixty something like that retail if you can find one, a thirty ninety ti, aren't they? Are, or, or are they more than that? Okay, I thought that was I thought that was the resale price when they'd be higher than that. I thought they were like eight hundred bucks retail. It's the clapped out Honda. Ooh, <laughs> you paying, it's the what? You paying the fifteen? God, Yo, <laughs> <laughs> sir. <laughs> Well, it, I thought about I doing that just because I figured, like, if he's looking at him now, I figured if I did that, this is my mind talking, like, one, GeForce I'm, RTX this, one? You said what? The GeForce RTX 3090? Yes, 3090 Ti. Yeah. Jesus Christ, nigga. Yep. Um, that's what I was looking at first. Then I, like, I talked, I did a lot of research to talk myself back down to a 3080, which uh, would have just been, like, just under $1,000. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, but then I was still like, dude, like, why the fuck am I going to do that? I literally only get on my computer to do this podcast at this point. I barely ever have time to play this thing. So it'd be a waste of money for me to throw that much money into this just to do it. Um, I think just want so I made a smart decision and I've chosen to rather invest that money so I can mm. hopefully turn that money into more money. But I did it in a smart way this time. Like I'm not using Robin Hood. I got the fuck away from that because if I have access to it, I can see it all the time. Then I was I just sell really fast and get out of it and like usually end up losing money. So I like went through like my bank and like they set up something like the uh, Charles Schwab and all that. So like an actual investment account now. Um, okay. Hopefully, okay. hopefully you know we're gonna buy our leisure and uh, move on to bigger and better things. You know. Um, uh, I thought you were about to say you bought an NFT at first. No, no. <laughs> well, I made mean, an NFT actually. Yeah, hey, I, I I got two NFTs. I'll sell you. How much? Okay. What are you willing to pay? <laughs> um, I'll let you borrow this. You got to give it back, though. <laughs> <laughs> NCAA football 14. Yeah. Well, I imagine you just got it out. That shit is priceless. What do you put that shit in the case? I got them now, next, next summer, it's, it's, gonna be, it's probably not going to be worth shit. I don't know where the case is, though. It's not wow. a good idea. Um. Uh, it's a Blu-ray though; they don't scratch. So I did that, and then uh, today, also today, I bought a Switch. Right? Um, I bought not the Glock Switch. We good? <laughs> <laughs> I'm putting switches on my Gleek, nigga. No, I bought a Nintendo Switch because they have the old model of stock at Best Buy. Um, so I did that, and I picked up some games. But Jamal had said this. I don't know if you said it on here, like our reviews. There's another conversation we're talking about, but like. How Nintendo games like just don't drop in price, like that Fuck. shit is fucking criminal. That don't make any sense. Hey, you see, Breath of the Wild is still like fifty bucks. I yeah, it was 50. <laughs> I think Breath yeah. of the Wild is still yeah. like like sixty for some places. But so because of that today, right? Like I wanted the new Kirby game, um, and so I'm I'm at Best Buy and like I grab a Kirby game. It's sixty dollars. The only one that's there. I'm like, okay, cool. Like, I thought I had the new Kirby game. This is some old Kirby game. It's still sixty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> I caught that shit and put it back, but like, oh that shit is fucked up. up. It's funny. That's funny. Oh, fuck Nintendo, bro. They do never try to lower their prices. The last game I bought was like what Fire Emblem. That shit's fun though. Like, I actually beat that one playthrough. Yeah, the game's good, but it's just like, damn, y'all was like. A sale for them is ten dollars. Yeah, and that should be for like forty eight hours. If you miss this shit, like, oh, really? <laughs> I next year, nigga. Back up for the next three years. The spring yeah. sale. Oh yeah, I remember when I was I was kicking it with DP. Then we went to uh, Target. And I saw Breath of the Wild was forty nine ninety nine. 
I'm like, okay. I was like, wait, wasn't that a launch title for this system? <laughs> yes. That shit yeah. came out the same day as the first Horizon. Dog, that shit came out. Dog, that shit's like week, six years old. I know it's a great game, and it changed the lands, changed the landscape of, uh, like you know, like big uh sandbox like adventure games and the way you like travel and you could do stuff at your own pace and whatever. But god damn, it's still fifty bucks. Yeah, dog, I'm not paying for your fucking legacy. I'm trying to play a game. I don't care what the hell you did. Yeah, I thought it was like, wait, hold on, this ain't nineteen ninety nine. This game's old as fuck. They're like, no, that shit is fifty dollars still. It's funny because yeah, like, even like, I feel like it wasn't like that with the Wii. Like the prices eventually dropped. Like. Normally, I don't know. I just feel like Nintendo. They just don't ever. They don't ever well, really do like digital sales like either. You can at least find them used, like at GameStop. The used games up too. The oh, used games be like five dollars yeah, sure. new one. Yeah, Sometimes that's how it true. didn't used to be like that. Yeah, like, like I text Blake that because like, we're trying to get Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I'm like, shit, I might as well just buy a brand new copy if I'm only gonna pay five dollars or more less. Yeah, yeah, and I'm sure they don't do any type of like game sharing, right? Hell no. No, nah, they do have something like that for uh, Nintendo Switches. I think you gotta like literally be under the same email thing because it's like a, it's it's for parents yeah, to use for like, multiple so kids. Yeah, yeah, it's something. It's weird. I don't know. It'll be hard to do a Nintendo. I'm pretty sure my Nintendo online shit is up, but that's just what twenty dollars for a whole year. Like that's that's whatever. The online were, shit. Were you actually using that? Like playing those games on there and all that? I was playing Mario Kart online, but like, yo, that's yo. You need to get Mario Kart. That's a fire ass game. Like I was playing that one. Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, or you're talking about old school Mario Kart. Whatever the one on the Switch is, like the newer one. I think I think I bought that today. And if I didn't buy that today, I'll just buy it digital because it's the same price. Yeah, dude. Fucking dog. I, I thought I was pretty good, man. Like, dog, whatever you do, if you play that game online, do not play at night, man. You get in them lobbies and you see all them goddamn Japan flags, and you're, like, you're about to get boat raced in there. <laughs> Any lobby with Japan flags, get the fuck out of there, bro. You're about to get smoked. Ain't that shit kind of crazy, like, how Nintendo, however many years they've been at this, say, this massive company, they built their brand on the back of, like, a fake Italian character. Like, could you imagine? But that's all. Could you imagine how problematic that would be, like, if, like, it was, like, a black character, and it was, like, a character here, like, a black character. character. (laughs) And he threw, like, Like, basketballs and shit. If it was a black janitor. Oh, my God. (laughs) Like a middle school janitor. Hey, like what do you uh, mean you don't like Lamario? <laughs> Lamario, <laughs> Lamarcus, go Lamarcus, go Lamarcus. <laughs> hey, speaking of uh, Nintendo Online, though, Jamal mentioned, are you guys planning? Either of you guys planning on like upgrading to either of the different like PlayStation Pluses that are coming out next month? Or I haven't even really month? looked at it. I'm I have one already. You mean with PlayStation now? Yeah, it's the same thing. I have it already. <laughs> yeah, it's got. It's definitely going to convert over. Um, yeah, it probably just convert you to something. I didn't see anything. I mean, I, I guess it would be fun to occasionally go back. I guess that that's it. If you're gonna go back and play the old stuff, you could do it now. Sure, it's the same so thing. You, it's literally not, now and plus. So yeah, you're not upgrading. Yeah, you, but I'm saying, if me and Jamal are gonna get it, then it's I have no idea. I haven't really <laughs> like looked. At we don't have it now. <laughs> so I'm, really I'm, like, I'm just fine. If you wanted it, you could get it today. <laughs> and we don't want it. And we don't have it. <laughs> so like, yeah, I'm guessing I'm primarily then asking Jamal if he's gonna get it, and he don't got it now. But yeah, I, I just got regular. I think I think I saw. A, I was on the. Uh, it's ninety nine dollars a year for the like, like that CD keys. When they had plus on sale for like twenty bucks, they got bought like yeah. three straight years. Yep. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So. The only downfall of us game sharing is that we game share PS Plus, so I can play online games without having PS Plus because he has it, but I can't use the cloud storage unless I buy it myself. Oh like, no! Is it oh, worth sixty dollars a year of my own money on top of what he pays? Like, or if when we alternate off? Is yeah, no, I bought a couple of years on Amazon. Have you put a new hard drive in your in your five yet, Tyrell? No, I haven't needed to honestly, because I oh, like cool. I I typically play one game at a time, and then like I'll have like my sports games on there, like little shit that I go back and forth of. But like I never really have more than one game on my console at a time. That's why I say the cloud storage thing is nice, just because um, at least with with myself playing a lot of AAA titles, um, I typically have to delete games quite often. Um, yeah. With cloud storage, you don't my save stuff's always good. Like I just whenever I pull the game down again, I have it. Um, yeah. You're not running into that issue, then that's not really that's something for you to worry about. Yeah, mine still does do that 
save. I guess I must get the cloud storage. I just know my shit got unplugged once and I lost all my my progress on uh, 2K. And I, yes, whenever yeah. I go to like manually save something to the cloud, it doesn't work. But yeah, like I was able to transfer <laughs> over pretty seamlessly from my PS4. And whenever I delete and re-download again, my shit's still there. But it's it saves on your console too. Even when you delete the game, the save files on my console. But that don't yeah. take that much space. Save files are very very small. But... Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. Never mind. Oh. All right. Oh, the yeah. Ooh, ooh. Ooh. there goes your microphone oh. player. Yeah. Help. Why is this shit? Okay, so we move we move platforms. From we go from Tyrell having an issue to now it's Jamal because your shit never did that on Zencaster. Never. You're muted. It's funny, like it's every different it's platform funny. has a different type of issue for us. Discord was doing one thing, Riverside did another. Go, okay, there you go. Can y'all hear me? Yes. Yeah. yeah the Hawks, the Hawks beat the Cavs. So you yeah. That's crazy oh, okay. because the, okay. the Cavs went crazy to start the game. I gotta say though, like it's about time. We might just start talking about it. Like, I think Trey Young got to be put into that 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 carrier category, like kind of where like Giannis and uh, KD oh, yeah, are. Sure. Like, if he's on the other side of the court, like you got to deal with that team. They're gonna scrap you to the end, no matter what. Like, yeah. man. he led the league in total points and uh, assists. Yeah, no, nah, he's he's a, he's a problem. One and of the it, ones. It don't seem to even really matter who's out there. Like the same team, they lost some of the good players from last year and made it back to the playoffs when they really shouldn't have. Like they didn't perform like that all that this year. And he still like had his numbers <laughs> and they just kept getting wins. Won 43 games, got him into the playoffs, won them the games. What what did he have 30 tonight too? Like 38, nine and nine or some shit like that. Yeah, no. Nah, like weird. Yeah. <laughs> I gotta win this game and we started out slow. I'm gonna go crazy real quick though. Hold on. They can win. <laughs> I think the Heat win, but I think the Heat win in six. I can see them scaring the, the Heat. A couple think, games. Uh, you're talking about okay, the Heat went over the Hawks. Yeah, the Heat'll beat the Hawks, yeah. Okay. But I, think, I just I saw think the Heat that... like being picked to win the finals today. Oh, like, shit. This fucking um fire thing, smoke thing has been beeping like on and off. Um, just that night. Smoke yeah, there's no smoking here though. It's just uh, mm. annoying. It's just trying to wake my daughter up is all. <laughs> the ghost of racism in this house. There we go. <laughs> um. So, all right, okay. Um, this week. Well, was it this week? It was last Sunday, I believe. Was that when Dwayne, Dwayne Haskins passed? Yeah, it was yeah, last weekend. Yep, last weekend. Okay, it must be Saturday, Saturday, actually. Yeah, it was Saturday. All right. Um, Either way, yeah. An unfortunate event where he was, uh, his car ran out of gas. So he's like walking on the freeway to get off the road to go get gas and was hit by a dump truck, unfortunately, in Miami. Um, However, I'm pretty sure I've definitely given him plenty of criticism on this podcast as about his play at quarterback. Um, But since he's gone now, I feel like it's probably good to give him some highlights um his career highlights kind of talk about some the shit that is is why he's like kind of known to us in the first place so this is like from the, go ahead no, I'm sorry, i know he had the best statistical season ever at ohio state like he threw 50 tds one year his last yeah year. so i'm on the ohio state buckeyes like website right now um they i don't know when they made this this might be old it's called the haskin standard though it's just like stuff that he did like while he was there god um, damn yeah um it Oh, actually, you know what? Mm, about to use some new features. Oh, oh shit! Hey. Oh Screen shit! Can. Shout out, Jackie Yo, Robinson. That's crazy. Wow. All right. So, sophomore quarterback Dwayne Haskins. The I hate that. I hate this. The big jizz. The big one. The, the big one. The, the big not ten, but ten offensive player of the year, twenty eighteen Heisman Trophy finalist. Spent the 28 season riding the height. Okay, this is just kind of giving you what he is because he was like Jamal said, he was that fucking dude at Ohio State. I yes. will say, I've seen the the B1G thing on <laughs> fields in the Big Ten. I've never seen someone type out the B1G to it's say annoying. the Big Ten, and they keep doing it. They keep doing it. Wow. 
Okay, he has five of the six 400-yard passing games in Ohio State history, including the school record of 499 yards. I wonder if – see, that's the thing. Like, I don't know if any of these things have been broken since then, but this is like when he left, this is what was going on. Um, I can hear you. Okay, Big Ten record set. Single season yards, 4,831. Breaks the record set in 2006 by Curtis Painter, Colts wow. legend. Uh, Big Ten TD passes, 50 of them things. 16 oh, passes versus Michigan. Mark 39 set in 1998 for Um Big Ten total offense, 4,939 yards. Beast Denard Robinson by, god damn, by 700 yards. Denard Six Robinson really crazy. Crazy. Yeah, he's going nuts. Can you beat Jamal? Um, Jamal beating that dog's ass. Dude, it's just barking hell on. Um, Haskins is the first Big Ten quarterback to have thrown five or more touchdowns in a game and more than three times in a season. Ohio State records. Sheesh. And you, had, you, you mentioned if anybody had broken these since, but I guess it would really only be uh, Justin Fields and um, Stroud right now. And I don't think yeah. any either of them have done any of this stuff. Maybe total yards from Justin Fields, yeah. but he wasn't. Some really of the shit might go like next year with Stroud. At least the single season stuff, for for sure. Yeah, he's looking spooky. Um, <laughs> he's fucking nice. So he has the passing yards record, touchdown passes record, pass attempts, completions, completion percentage seventy percent. That's insane. That's crazy. Uh, pass yards a game, four hundred yard games, three hundred yard games, two hundred yard games, total offense. There's two pages of records, and that's 12 12. That's it. <laughs> Wait, um, the, the combination of 14, 9, and 5, that's got to be his whole career because he only played there for two years. He, he only never, played two years? I, he left his junior year, and it this, he started as a sophomore. He didn't start as a freshman, I don't think. Oh, wow. Damn. <laughs> this is two years. Ohio State single season and career record for most of your passing games of nine. Is, oh, we already read that. <laughs> Games one through four versus opponent stat lines. Oh, this is so. This is like from his last season. He was fucking cooking. <laughs> Oregon State got that work. Twenty-two and thirty for thirteen. Five touchdowns. Rutgers got tore the fuck up. Four touchdowns. Twenty-three attempts. Three total touchdowns. And they only won by three. That's a carry. <laughs> that's that's, that's a big ass carry. Yeah. Yeah. I need four touchdowns what? and you only had twenty-three points. They what only the beat Tulane by three. Wait, what? hold on. Yeah, he had five touchdowns, but Tulane only had 24. Well, they had 24 points. This is a – yeah, how do you – hmm. They don't – math. the I'm math not, ain't math. It's, it's not. Unless oh, – what oh, if they went to overtime and they didn't get an extra point? We are we fucking are. stupid. 20 for 23, not 20 to 23. And you know what? And I read I read the first one correctly, but somehow you unless did. you – me. You you're <laughs> I'm dumb, and you're dumb enough to let me trick you into being dumb. I don't understand. All right. Wow. Yeah, Tulane got that <laughs> fucking word. What is this? Oh but no! Either this way, he, he he completed like ninety percent of his passes in the first month of the season. Yeah, man, he's fucking nice, man. God damn. Six TDs just... against Indiana. And I know, I know he didn't play the best for Washington, but like. And I still feel like he kind of had like time to kind of turn it around, especially like he was probably like learning. Like if he was going like, to play good in the NFL, it was going to be this year. Yeah, he he was in the right spot to do it, and like he had he had basically a year to sit, get settled in there. Um, Washington's a hellhole, so it is man. Be in a winning so, franchise and figure some shit out, but they finna get some trouble. That shit about them in the year. books. Look at this! Look at this fucking back to back here. At Maryland, four hundred five, six total TDs, twelve TDs in two weeks, twelve yeah. TDs, a thousand yard or uh, nine hundred and ninety nine yards in two weeks. Yeah, no, that's crazy. R.I.P. Man, R.I.P. Really? Dog, he was only twenty four. That's what's that. crazy. He's how old? He was twenty four. Yeah. Damn. Turning twenty five in May. Hey, here's your king. <laughs> uh, <laughs> Urban Buyer. Uh-uh. Yeah, man. Uh yeah, it sucked. I like obviously like there was a lot of issues with him and on and off the field that like clouded how people viewed him, but like he was a number one recruit for a reason. He beat out Joe Burrow at Ohio State for a reason. Like he was incredible on the field. Uh and was two years into the NFL at 24 years old. 
like we've definitely seen people bounce back from those careers. Like, yeah, and you gotta yeah. think about the situation you go to too. Like that yeah. definitely like plays something into it. Like, Steve Young played like absolute shit. His the first like it might have been more than five years. I think it was like four or five, three. six years. Yeah. Yeah. So it it can and he was on the horrible Buccaneers teams. So it yep. it can happen. Like you could be you can be one <laughs> of the greatest. You just yeah. got to get out of the where the fuck you're at. Washington has one good player, and nobody that's been drafted to quarterback at, in Washington has been good in our entire life. Like RG three for a year. Be on a team that's facing federal indictment, it just don't work out. <laughs> <laughs> and and the, the coach really drafted you. It's not good. He's <laughs> you were cool with his son in high school, so like you can do whatever you want, and there's no like we can't say shit to you. <laughs> oh yeah, no, no. The owner is your your homeboy. It's like, mm. yeah. Shout out to him though. I I do think he him and Mitch would have battled in camp this year. I think he could have won that spot for sure. Because those are definitely two guys that are fighting to be seen as an NFL starter. Like the whole absolutely, absolutely. Yeah, he there's, not yeah, there's, yeah. Not no, yeah. there's not much difference. Yeah, there's not much difference. Fuck Adam Schefter. Fuck oh, Adam me. Schefter. Fuck Adam Schefter. Like the, the I, and it feels like he he does that like repeatedly. Like just forgets to like not be a dickhead when he tweets out certain stuff like that or like the timing just being bad. And I guess that's part of like people, you got to be first, but you also want to be right. But like, you're right. So you're first and you can kind of just say whatever you want. But even like Woj (laughs) tweeting about Frank Vogel losing his job 15 minutes after the game's over, Adam Schefter tweeting this, like uh, who struggled to catch on in the league, just like the unnecessary shit or like your timing is just like, bad like, like i get it's your profession and like it's like business transactions you're getting all this news from like agents and front office people and stuff but like yo like at the end of the day they're, they're still people and like yo like this was like not him getting traded or something happened like listen like yeah. losing his life. Like, you can't talk about people like that like people got like families man like like how you think his like family sees is going to react to him seeing shit like that because if and if you think about like how big a motherfucker's family can be like obviously like if you get hit on the freeway, like it's going to take some time for word to get around. Your parents are probably notified first, but Adam Schefter probably found out before a good chunk of Dwayne Haskins family. Absolutely. Did. Yeah. Somebody, sc- and I didn't even think about that, but like, yeah, somebody scrolling on Twitter is like, Dwayne Haskins is strong with the kids. What the fuck? Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. What did I just read? You think, oh, traded when you start reading the tweet. Unfortunately, somebody who struggled to catch on in the league. Like goes to the XFL. That makes sense. You know what the way he framed it though, like what that made me think immediately was that like this was like some like mental health crisis of like yeah, Dwayne Haskins yeah. like, committing suicide on the freeway. Because like why would you even mention that part? Yeah, uh, of when he lost his life. Like, so bad. I mean, if if bad. the rush is to be first, you could be first by typing less words. Like, the fuck are you doing? Yeah, yeah. Unfortunate to announce or unfortunate to talk about the sad passing of. Like it's you don't got no extra. I don't need to know who they played for. I don't need to know like none of that. Big them up, big them up. Say Ohio State Buckeye legend. <laughs> exactly. There's so many different ways to go about it. Yeah, it's gross. It's gross. Gil Brandt was worse i mean like i don't even remember all of what he said because i watched the shit once and it was just he was, dumb, like, he was living to die because he left ohio state a year early like all right dude i've Anybody? never heard this man in my life until that happened yeah i only know him from like the cowboys i think gm or coach forever and i just know him from being associated with the cowboys but mm. i think he was there during that like super bowl like Probably I sure don't know him. Yeah, some some like 80s, talking about forty years ago when the Cowboys were yeah. good. Why are you on NFL Network serious radio? Like I'm so confused. Uh we don't need to hear all that shit. Know, <clears throat> Speaking of the Cowboys, so you know how people always say, Oh man, the Cowboys haven't won shit and their fan base, but you know, technically, wouldn't the uh how come the 49ers don't catch some of them jokes too? Or like the Bill not the Bills, but like the, the, the Bulls. The 49ers had definitely had more success than the Cowboys. During Nobody the, is as loud as the Cowboys either. It's not fucking close. Yeah, it's not. The Cowboys, it's because the Cowboys are so loud. It's they're absolutely. It's, it, <laughs> it's got to be. I can't think of a bigger fan base in the country for a single team. Nope. It's like Cowboys, Yankees, 
Lakers, probably. No, it's yeah, just the, the Cowboys. And I think it's cool. Cowboys. Yeah. For real, for real, for real. Like you can go anywhere you want to and find the person with that got the Cowboys shit on their license plate. Yeah. Um, their whole like couch is cowboyed out. Like it don't matter where you're at, you'll find Every, them anywhere. Everybody knows a Cowboys period fan. when they was on top, man. Every single or just when they were the only team on TV, like every single person you know knows a Cowboys fan. Yep. Full stop. So yeah. But, like, even if you look at other teams, like, the 49ers have been to multiple Super Bowls, <laughs> made multiple big playoff runs. Like, the Cowboys won Super Bowls and then, like, struggled to get to the playoffs again for, like, 15 years. Okay. Because I've seen somebody make that argument. And somebody would say, like, yo, so people talk about, like, those Cowboys. It was a Cowboys fan. They're like, well, people don't be making jokes about the Celtics. But I feel like the Celtics do kind of get some of them jokes. The like, Celtics until they won that. They put themselves out there like that. Like, the yeah. Cowboys. The title, like, until the Celtics won that title in, like, what, 08 or some shit like that? Like, oh, yeah. they didn't want to arrange in, like, 40 years or some shit. You've like that. 100% like, heard more shit talk from Cowboys fans than you have from, like, Steelers fans or Patriot fans. I guarantee it. Yeah. Probably, yeah. I don't really ever hear Steelers fans like talking shit like that. That don't make any sense. <laughs> yeah, no, it's just a loud, braggadocious fan base. I get the it. Steelers are like the next biggest, I think, fan base probably in the NFL that I can think of. Absolutely, 49ers be on the West Coast, but Hell the Steelers yeah. have won two Super Bowls in my lifetime. I think in the past fifteen like, years, yeah, it's, yeah, since what two thousand five? So the past, like, yeah, eight, sixteen, seventeen years. Yeah, a little over yeah, fifteen. Suppose. As opposed to the Cowboys, who are ninety five, like I haven't appeared in the Super Bowl since the the nineties. <laughs> yeah, anybody who's alive now has gray hair if they watch the Cowboys win the Super Bowl. Well, they made it to like probably like two NFC Championship games since then. No, yeah. they've won like five playoff games since then. Well, I know they lost in the NFC Championship to the Packers, right? Won that up so, the, uh, the catch. Oh, hey, I don't give a fuck, man. That's a catch, bro. I don't care what nobody says. I think that shit's still a catch. I don't think that was a championship game, though. That wasn't the NFC think, championship? When no, they, I think the they won. Like, that have been Aaron Rodgers was in the Super Bowl, which he didn't. Oh, shit, you're right. When that would yeah. <laughs> be divisional. Never mind. Yeah. No. Damn, that might have been their year, too. Fuck. <laughs> oh, you're talking about the Des Bryant catch when yeah. you said the catch. That was a fucking oh, catch, Oh, yeah, nigga, bro. fuck, no. That's 20. That was the divisional game. Okay, never mind. That's two more games to play after that. Okay. Yeah. That's funny. He caught the ball and took like two, three steps and tried to reach out with his elbow. It was definitely a catch. Yeah, that's no, a catch. You know how it's, a, it's a catch today. I know how pissed you'd be because Des Bryant still talks about it today. That's gonna yeah, that's just something that's gonna bother you forever. Yeah. Jerry Jones still talks about that shit today. Yeah, no, rightfully so. I couldn't imagine like that happening. Like, that's it's that's funny. a Jaguar play, bro. I'm 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 wrecking my car. The the funniest story about that game, right? We we were driving up to the mountains, uh, and we were listening to it on the radio because it was like, yeah, we can't watch the game, the game, but it's playoff football, so we want to like hear what's going on. So we just hear like, oh, Des Bryant drops it. Oh, it looked like it was a catch. Da, 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 da. And you get home and watch the video. I was like, nigga, what is happening? That was definitely a catch. <laughs> What was I listening to earlier? Who was watching nigga, this he, game? Nigga snagged it, took three steps to try to score. What do you mean? This not a catch. That's like that dumbass Calvin Johnson one where he scores and then gets up with the ball by putting himself yeah. on. The oh ground. yeah, but he but it's, it's like but he slid it kind of. He fucking snagged that shit on uh Pat Tillman. No, Blake is different. What up, gang? Yeah. People should just yeah, watch yeah, the yeah. videos of these podcasts to look at Blake's face while we talk and then see the dumb shit that he does. <laughs> Why did you do that? Dolce. <laughs> old ass nigga, man. He got a haircut this week and bought some Dolce and Gabbana glasses. That's how you know a nigga got his glasses. taxes back. I bought them yeah. out like in episode three. He, you worn them. Oh, once, and those are like, ones for like uh screen. Just like I always place. had my chain. You and you my, a, my, the podcast my chain. Yeah, bitch. okay. I remember that. Blocking the blue lights, the hater yeah. vision blockers. Dog. He bought a Nintendo Switch, got a haircut, hit the driving range, bought some glasses. <laughs> <laughs> this is a different nigga, man. I've had these glasses, like I said. <laughs> no, you bought them this morning. No, shout yeah. out to Blake. All right. Uh, Speaking of sh- Rody, Rody will drive. Speaking of shout, shout out. out to me. Oh, shit. Ooh, off-white mall. Hold Let on. You see the, the box got holes in it. Mm, I think all the off-white boxes are like that. I don't know. Right? I thought I see one more like it was like orange or something, but. Okay, okay. So wait, you you hit on the sneakers app and you got some uh you haven't you you haven't opened these yet, right? 
No, nah, yeah, this is my first time just fucking with him. Right, special special off white paper. Okay. Yeah, I guess the other pair got delayed because of like weather condition. I don't know why they couldn't ship it at the same time, but because of robbery. <laughs> Undies them right now if you're a real one. But no, nah, I guess they Undies them hoes right now if you're a real one. Do it for the pod. They Those look pills. like Chucks mixed with Harachis. He pussy, you act like you can't hear me. It's crazy. But, is, yeah, they got is, the, the bottom, is the bottom glow in the dark? I don't know. How's the mouth feel? Nigga, what? You heard that? That's crazy. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, nigga. No, those look. Those definitely look better in person. That hole is crazy. That's, Your that's fingers awesome. off, white. Right? What are you doing? <laughs> they got holes. Uh, it's like yeah. a blazer, Chuck. Or, no, I guess is that a blazer? It's a blazer, right? Yeah, it's a low blazer. blazer. Yeah. Okay, I can tell by the bottom. Did they the give you socks to go different. with it, or you you got a pair of nah, socks? Man, you already know I'm the sock king. I got all kind of socks. What you got? You see the, he got a, the laces say laces on them. Oh, put mm. laces on my laces. Made in China. Mm. Shout out, version. Just flip the laces. I've never seen a Nike shoe with that on there. But yeah. The white pair will be here probably, hopefully, sometime next week. I put brick in my brick. But yeah. Nice. Shout out to me. Shout out to Nike. All right. I had a um, a hypothetical I thought up this week that I made sure to type down in some of my notes so I could ask you guys. Um, All right. Here's the concept, right? You get an opportunity presented to you to time travel, but the time travel is for one purpose, one purpose only. It is to hand out a fade. Um, You can pick whoever you want to fight. You can pick whoever you want to train you. Um, You kick the combat off any way you want. So that means like you could just choose to go back and just like dope fiend somebody. Like they don't got to know you're coming. You sneak them. Um, (laughs) You can do that. Um, and as soon as one party is no longer able to fight, you teleport back with whatever changes came from that. So, you know, like kind of like in game type shit, where it's mm-hmm. like you don't want to mess with stuff too much. But at the same time, whatever you did, like whatever the effect of that's going to be, it's going to affect time. So, when you come back, it's going to be whatever it's going to be. Um, <laughs> that's a that's a pretty big factor, honestly. It's a huge one, but you, that's a you, pretty you, big factor. you really want to do. Um, you can, like I said, you pick anybody from history to, to or today to train you. Um, if you get restrained, you teleport back. If the fight gets broken up in any fashion, you teleport back. Um, and yeah, that there's no rules. So I mean, you could even like go back and like go beyond this fighting somebody. You could erase somebody. You could <laughs> you could in in their time in their timeline. Um, Wait, but you said if they can't fight anymore, I teleport back. So does that mean they're dead or just knocked out? It could be knocked out or dead. But I mean, if the blow you hit kills them. It's the same thing as them being knocked. Yeah, no, literally the same thing. Not necessarily, because if the blow I hit knocks them out, and then I they can't fight anymore, so I'm teleported back. They could wake up. But if yes, I'm saying, but I'm saying, like, if let's say, like, the one punch that was gonna knock them out also like snaps their neck or some shit. Okay, you come back. But if the one punch that was gonna snap their neck just knocks them out, you still come back. Okay, you just have to make sure whatever. Like, if if that was your plan, you wanted to. Kill the person, then you would have to make sure that, like, you yeah, them outcomes is, adequate them force. Outcomes are different. Okay, like maybe yeah. take a sledgehammer. I don't know, or find one, find find a halberd. I see what you mean. I see what you mean. Who uh, would be your target? <laughs> keeping it a hundred. I don't think I really have anybody like I want to go back and like fight like like that right now. Like I really don't think I like. But let me take you off the spotlight. I can't, yeah, I can't think of nobody off the top of my head right now. Like, if I just like, like having it, like, I, we've all had issues with people, but like, I don't care enough. Like, I said through history, you can go oh, through okay. all the time. Oh, I thought it was like somebody your timeline. Like, no, no uh, anything. I'm not gonna ask you who would you kill, but you actually know oh. that nigga, that nigga from fourth grade that threw water on you. When That's you insane. Had a, you, were, you were really coming with an answer. <laughs> I've got mine. I've got mine. And this going this gonna be different. I ain't never heard nobody say this one. Oh, shit. listen, all right. All right. Oh, you go back and kill. So listen, it's a it's a it's a foggy morning, nineteen sixty eight, Memphis, Tennessee. Oh some, shit! You gonna get on the roof and stop him? Some some niggas like, hey, baby, hey, uh, pack me a lunch. I'm going to kill Martin Luther King Jr. today. 
and he opened his door and he see me 200 pounds of pressure he get punched in the chin <laughs> and then i just whoop his ass to completion he did he never got to be dead. I just whoop his ass so bad. His wife is like, "Please, sir, stop! Please get off my man!" And I'm they just gonna shoot you. <laughs> no, they can't shoot me because by the time I hit that thirteenth elbow in his chin, I'm back today. And the reason I say that, I was thinking about Hitler at first when you said this, because that's the go-to answer when it's like, "What bad person you want to erase?" or like, "How you want to change history?" Right? But I think if you if you don't take away Martin Luther King. Uh, and he gets to like really talk his shit throughout the seventies, link up with the young niggas, like in the Black Panther Party who was doing their shit, like you know, kind of kind of keep the train moving. By the time the eighties roll around, gangs might not have been as big an issue, drugs might not have been a big big an issue, and that kind of was a second slippery slope for black folks. So if I can just take out that one bitch ass nigga, he might mm-hmm. not have lived forever. He might have gotten he might have gotten clapped up again. It might have been Final Destination. I don't know. But I would have put one nigga out of commission and it would feel good. Cause whenever you see that uh that stupid ass picture where it's the nigga in the hotel room across and he got the the uh the gun out the window and you could see who it was, he just looked goofy. Just some lame ass nigga really killed a hero. So yeah, I go fuck him up. That's All a right. good one, honestly. Yeah. And maybe I, I get um... and maybe I get to hear somebody say Merzik, like Tonio says it with the U R. <laughs> I okay. I have um. I had two that came to mind. Um, one is it's, it's almost it's in line with yours, but I guess you're kind of stopping the the shit that I'm trying to stop before I have to stop it. Um, I would have tried to get like, I would I would have tried to pop off on like Ronald Reagan, like not like when he was like presidential time, but I would like figured out like when he was shooting a movie that had a stunt that like I could like do like some hitman type shit too. <laughs> <pull it up. laughs> Wait, like you know or you do the uh, what, who, pop gun or some you, shit, you know? Exactly. Oh yeah. damn the gun was loaded. My bad. Yep, yep, yep. To try to stop the same shit you were trying to stop, but oh, I guess yep. I was trying Alec to stop Baldwin shit. What'd you say? Oh some Alec Baldwin shit. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah try to do that. Um I, I need Dr. King to stop the whole shit. No, yeah, you, you're getting the, you're getting ahead of it though, so that that's good. My my other one was I'd see in I don't I'd have to hope the teleport people could help me out. I'd be like, send me back to the first like African dude on the coast that made a deal with like the European traders to get us the fuck up out of there. Let me go back to him, but that's kind of scary because there's a whole lot of shit that I might like fuck up if I do that. A whole lot of shit, the most amount of shit, quite frankly. But you might have made some shit better. You never know. <laughs> hey, I mean, you really never you know. That's a big you don't know because because there's a whole lot of That's different huge. steps. There's yeah. a thousand different steps from then. Yeah, but I think I think in the end we would have had Wakanda at the end of the day, so that probably would have been. Worse. <laughs> That's the scenario you got to hope for, though, right? Like honestly, that anytime yeah. I think of them not touching Africa, we got Wakanda. Look at Nairobi we were finding our vibranium deposits. Fact. Uh... Who was that? Was that was I on the game with you guys when I played the uh, the Mortal Kombat mode with Jax, and that's pretty much what happened. Was that you, Blake? I was talking to. I remember you talking about it. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that show was funny. You could they got that clip on YouTube. I I'm trying to think. That. Damn, Jax you guys, you guys like some slavery. Y'all got like yeah, pretty much. Yeah, y'all got like some good historical shit that's gonna help out people. I think mine's kind of selfish. Oh no! What the fuck did I just close? Nah, be selfish, brother. Be selfish. So I got two. I'm packing out David Duke. Oh, you gotta win! <laughs> I love. <laughs> Damn, yeah. you don't think Jamal got hands like that? No, no, no. I said you gotta yeah, give a win. For yes, you win. Oh shit! For when you're gonna oh, go do it? Okay, okay. I thought you meant did you get a win? No, I'm like, killing him. I'm, I'm sneaking up behind him and stabbing him in the throat. But he means like what time in life? Like what? Yeah, you're like, in time. Uh, when, when he was he on like, campus at LSU, being up? a dickhead. I don't, probably when he's like younger, he's like a, whenever he was like his at his biggest powers, like being a grand wizard, I'm just getting him Shit, out of here. Shock the world. Yeah, another white dude will pop up. I'm getting him out of here because that's the one I know. They said he I think used to be on, in, on the yard at LSU, and when he was like 2021, 20, doing all that like hate speech type shit. That's when you got to sneak him. Like, oh, it's just another uh, hard R on campus. Smart. Fuck out. Yeah, here. I think another one is uh. Yeah, you said we get trained, right? Okay, yeah. So I got hands. 
I think when uh the first time when Offset like embarrassed uh Cardi B was like cheating on her, I think I beat his ass. And she's like, you know what? I don't got to deal with this, man. And then there we go, me and her. <laughs> you went to that video shoot with her in the Bronx. Yeah, holy shit! I did all that. Yeah, so those are my two seats. I'm packing out David Duke or Offset, and I fuck with okay. Offset too. So when you said uh you feel selfish, the Cardi B was the one you had. You had to come up with the David Duke on the spot. Is what you're telling yeah, me. Yeah, no, the David Duke one was definitely the second <laughs> one. The Cardi B offset one was definitely my first one. I understand. I appreciate it. What, what would I type in to see Jack's Mortal Kombat Africa? Uh, damn. I guess Jack's... I think, uh, I think exactly what you just said. No, because I just see some dude kicking somebody. Yeah, Jack's story ending, Mortal Kombat 11. What's the, that's 11's the last one, right? Uh, yeah. Maybe. Oh, I haven't played the last one. Did you buy the last one? That's good to know. Yeah, we had it on uh, before. No, we, we had 10. No, we had 11. Well, I remember having no. 11. 11 I came out like last one. year, didn't it? Holy shit. So he, really got the, he really got the... This is crazy. All I wanted was to fix my life. Yeah, look at no, this I shit, bro. Know. This shit is crazy. What the fuck is that? Raiden warns me. I can't fix everything. The time the Raiden, thing. Kind of stop racing. Much and I, so I keep racing. Hey man, shout out to Raiden. <laughs> he Asian. But this power is bigger than us. If I think only about helping myself, what kind of officer am I? Bro, this shit is so funny. Man. I forgot who I was in the party with when I played so this. My family and I have lived the American dream. But most people look like me haven't had that chance. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm not waiting centuries for people to get woke when I've got the power to speed things up for Shit. people to get woke I don't get it right the first time or the second or even oh, the third but eventually I knock it out of the damn park Nigga, is this Mark Jackson? did they really <laughs> play a hit it out the park sound? they did yes right. You can have everything. Anyone who says you can't needs to dream bigger. Yeah, he might be the goat. So he went back in time and no, made sure slavery never happened and he had two wives. I see the video. It, it sounds like he did it multiple times. That was his daughter and his wife. Oh. It's Sicko. funny that this video has 278,000 views. That means 278,000 people who played the game or heard about the game were like, I need to go check this out. I need to watch that again. Dude. Someone said Martin Luther King, I have a dream. It says Jack, say no more, fam. <laughs> <laughs> That's a layer state game. And, I, and, and I got there by whipping ass. Mm-hmm. You ripped my arms off, but I ripped you out of existence. I wonder if a black person shot that, like gave out that idea. Like, you know, for Jack to the end, we should do this. You know the answer to that. No. Oh, of course not. Um, y'all want to look at more bullshit? Sure. Yes. Are you, you what you gonna pull up? Um, you wanna talk about Cam Newton? What about Cam Newton? Oh, no. about him. Oh, I, I saw some of that. Yeah, we can, I don't care. I thought you was talking about the uh <laughs> the Bano shit. He just I got decided, that too. Cam just decided this week that he didn't want to play football anymore. Basically. You think it's all that? All right, hold on. I mean, I don't think he was gonna play again anyway. <laughs> I think he confirmed us all that. All right, so Cam went on a million dollars for the game. He's talking with Gillian Wallow, and this is literally the beginning of the conversation. Um, they get to talking just about um, – well, you'll see. I'm not one of these dudes to be like, bro, I'm gutter, I'm this, I'm that. Man, I had a, a perfect a perfect example of what a man was that in is my incredible. life by my father. Mm-hmm. My parents have been together for 36, 37 years now, and it's, and it's a beautiful thing. Uh, I grew up in a three parent household, my mom, my father, and my grandmother. And, uh, I knew what a woman was not a bad bitch. Okay. What's the difference? A woman. Okay. A bad bitch is a person who's just, you know, girl, I'm a bad bitch. You know, I'm doing this. I'm doing that. I, I, I I looked apart, but I don't act apart. Okay. You know, and it's a lot of women who are bad bitches. And I say bitches in, in, in a way not to degrade <laughs> a woman, but just to 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 go off I the aesthetic of what they deem is a boss chick. Mm-hmm. Now, 
a woman for me is handling your own, but knowing how to cater to a man's needs, mm -hmm. right? And I think a lot of times when you get that aesthetic of like, I'm a boss bitch, like I'm a this, I'm a dad. No, baby, like, but you can't cook. Okay. But you said cater to your own though. Quiet. You don't, don't know how to allow a man to leave. What'd you say? I'm just confused. I'm just confused at what he's looking for. Hold you on. Can't, you can't, no, a lot of women can't say you are, are but you can't be. Quiet. I'm gonna be quiet for the man. Oh well, so I think so. Based more or less, Cam right there is like saying that he likes a uh, um likes women that cater to him and aren't necessarily yeah, like that, man priority they business and like you know cater his needs. I didn't see like but what the outrage it, was. It, it I sounds didn't like he doesn't say anything crazy. It it just sounds like he's saying I don't want you to say that you are because you can say I'm a bet. Unless he's saying it when you say it and don't you say one thing and do another. No, he's talking like so, he's mainly saying if you say I'm a bad bitch and da da da, then you aren't a woman. Well, he was literally he he said it right there. He was like talking about like women who are he's women who are in I guess independent um have their own thing going for them and like are loud about that and everything, but then like when it comes time to like do the homely stuff, they don't have any of those skills. That's what he's talking about. Like he doesn't like that. Yeah, that's what I thought he meant. And he's saying yeah, like he like the other type. Me like I I'm, like I get well I don't know like I've been like kind of confused on this this week. I, like I told you, I listened to that first take her take podcast. That's my jam uh, with uh, L Duncan, Kimberly something, and uh, Charlie Arnold. Um, and they were talking about this, and the thing L got like super upset. Um, she was kind of going in. She has like a segment on there called L Soapbox, where like they kind of just let her get her shit off. Like she like basically um, vents. Um, and they were like, "How dare you have like the audacity to say this?" And like, I'm teaching my sons different, and um, that they should have those skills and they should look for them in a woman. I'm like, well, that that's fine, but it's like. If that's what somebody else wants, like, how do you like tell someone that they can't want that thing? Like, yeah, you ask him like about what he looks for in women. If that's what he likes, and, like, let him like that because there's women out there that want to do that too. It's like, what's the big deal? He said anything bad. He just said, yo, I like a woman that take care of herself and she got her own shit going for her, but she just knows how to like cater to like to like my needs. Like, I don't see what's wrong with that shit. Yeah, nah. I think and, people like, just don't like when it sounds like it's coming from a selfish standpoint, especially from men. Is what I take from that, like. I'm looking for a woman who will cater to me, but also take care of herself. Yeah, that doesn't sound think, crazy. I, I, but I'm saying I don't think men typically say that I'm taking care of my shit, but also making sure you're taken care of in the same way. I don't think we ever hear men really say that. And I think that's why women get so upset whenever they hear the opposite. Because it's like, I, I need you to take care of me, our kids, uh, and yourself, and I'm going to do me. Is how I think people take that. Cause that's what it sounds like he's saying to me, and that's why I think why people would be upset by it. I guess that part's missing to me. Like, I guess it's probably yeah, my main. Here. Or it's a, it's implied that like he's like taking care of like yeah, everybody. like the other stuff. He's yeah. the provider. He's the one. But that's probably my main. My man ears playing bias to what he's saying. Yeah, but to give him I, the I, I, like, I definitely understand. It. But it's like again, when when I'm thinking of why people would be upset. When I say I'm providing for everybody, it's I'm making money and not doing shit else. Like, oh yeah, I, I got a good job and I don't have to like help you with any of the other shit. I just need you to take care of everything else, which I think has been the like what people expect and what people hear when they hear people say, like, take care of yourself and cater to me. Mm -hmm. Which is why like I maybe even just the word cater kind of makes it sound like just selfish as fuck. Which is why I think people were upset. And that's what people were hearing all week was like, why do I need to do this? How dare you say this? I'm teaching my son not to need you to cook and clean. I don't even like, Blake, I, I think maybe you as a married person, you're not thinking like, Brie better come home today and cook. Because <laughs> like I was I said, at work like all said, day. If that's what Cam wants, though, I'm not, I'm because sure. you're, you're getting to the part where it's like other Me people. You, yeah. Are saying that like like him him saying that that's how other people need to live. He's saying that's what he wants. That's obviously not what I have. Like, as much as I'm like the man of my house, my house moves based on my wife. Like, it's not yeah. me. So I'm I'm definitely not this. I I yeah. do everything in here. So not that she doesn't, but like I I can't expect her to do everything because 
like right now she's deployed so yeah this is not my life what cam's talking I, about is not my life it's not what i look for obviously and i think people look at the celebrity convos like this and know that obviously there are men who aren't in cam's position because it cam can probably say oh i i don't want the woman who's going to talk a bunch and not be able to do shit because i'm rich as fuck i don't need you to like go do yeah i don't need you to do stuff. anything for me and people who work our jobs who like me and my wife have to work <laughs> we mm-hmm. both gotta like maintain this as a partnership take that and go i can't believe men think this way and again i'm not saying i necessarily agree or disagree with cam or agree or disagree with the people who are upset i just think that's why people are upset because a motherfucker who is uh, uh you can have a good ass 150k a year job and still have to work 50 hours a week and your wife might not work and you're like okay she needs to like, do all this and people still look at that a different way y'all would be i mean probably not surprised but maybe surprised but it's like there's just like again like being in the military community there are people who make like forty thousand dollars a year and have a stay-at-home wife for sure <laughs> that's for that's sure. the life that they choose to have and like that's yeah. what they're comfortable with and it's like for me, like I couldn't do it. I make enough money now where like if Brie didn't want to work, we'd be fine. But that's not who she is, and that's not who I am. Like, I'd be fine if she didn't want to work too, I guess, but it's like I know that's not who she is. So it's like yeah. It it different people want different shit. And like, yeah, I don't know. It it, it was interesting to me, like how much blowback he kind of got for stating what he likes, but I guess it's I don't know, like you said, like people take that to heart because I think it's because he's putting something like a specific, like verbiage and specific, like I don't want a bad bitch because a bad bitch is this, like somebody who, like a single mom who goes to work every day, takes care of all of her shit, it might describe herself as a like that's kind of like somebody who was raised by a single mom. I'm thinking of how my mom speaks about herself, which is like she's relatively young, so she said shit like that, and like yeah. she wasn't like ever depending on anybody. But she's like, I'm a bad bitch. I don't need no nigga. Da, 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 da. She like, wasn't doing the like take care of home shit, right? Or she wasn't not doing that stuff. But I feel like a lot of women feel that first part and go like, well, you're just generalizing. Everybody who says this does this. And granted, again, if it don't apply, let it fly. Everybody should be able to like look past <laughs> the first part. But we know better. So that's why people are mad because we know better. I just don't like people are I don't it's yeah, I guess so. I I just it it's just I don't know why I'm surprised, but like it just baffles me how upset you should never like, be surprised. I should be though, because it's like you're not looking to date Cam Newton. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? You're not you don't know that. <laughs> you don't know that actually. You didn't just lose out on a bachelor potential because like you don't want to do this stay at home shit but with Cam Newton. Even, even then, people aren't going to Twitter to argue about dating cam newton they know there are a lot of uh, also niggas like myself i can't afford those aren't your, a, a those aren't the you're gonna be with if the people that like that want that shit then those aren't the people you need to worry about those aren't dicks that are for you those are dicks for people that want to stay at home <laughs> but people are also well, like you're in the street dicks. You, you intermingling with them people you dating them people you working with them people you might be fucking them people you don't gotta do shit with them <laughs> you really don't hey Towns are small. People you attract to are small. People be fucking with them. People, my baby dad, my baby daddy think like this, and I hate this nigga because he said I got us. Should have thought about that. We want to shoot the club up. Sorry. Welcome to America. (laughs) Promise. Welcome welcome to America. This is the land where we don't think about it like that. And again, I'm I, I I guess I'm playing devil's advocate because I know exactly where people are coming from when they're arguing because they arguing with somebody you're projecting. I'm arguing a projection, right? I'm not even arguing with the per I'm shouting into the ether, and once you respond, now we arguing. Even though I'm not dating Cam Newton, but my coworker earlier today, he said that his wife can't do da 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 and she better do da 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 So now I'm arguing with him on the internet, even though I'm at home arguing with you. Yeah, no, it's um it's it's this is like we this is the maniverse type of like type of shit that's popping off right now. Like we were talking about like while ago with like the kevin samuel shit um the the show that had blue jasmine on like uh the fresh and fit shit like these these things that exist where people talk about what they want out of a relationship and what they demand out of their partners um when they're single and then it just causes arguments between single people which is like y'all don't have to go together like all of y'all can leave each other the fuck alone and go find someone who doesn't watch these things 
and just is what you want them to be. But I, I don't know, like it's it's creating so much tension between people in our age group. It's, it's just very interesting to see like it's, what's going it, on. I guess you could even think of it like we have like interactive versions of like Jerry Springer. We're like, yeah, yeah. 20, 21 to 31 year old people would go on Jerry Springer and argue about these like random stupid little niche issues. And there's a billion episodes and the crowd goes and they're turned up. But now we're just like listening to a podcast where somebody talks about a very specific situation or a very like specific date scenario. And they take that and they blow it out to like, here is why everybody or here's why women or here's why men or here's why this. And then we watch it and then we go, Hey, y'all see this? <laughs> and then we like, argue back. Now and I gotta go about argue for my piece in this. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. So it's like interactive television or interactive video, I guess, is the way to look at it. Mm. Which is the same and, as people had back then. You might you might call your homeboy in the middle of the day in 94 and be like, Did you watch Ricky Lake, nigga? Did you see? What I you know said? that was happening. That'd have been fun. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> it's the same thing. The niggas probably was mad then. Mm-mm. Breaking the fourth wall shout out kind of right here though, but uh shout out to StreamYard because this shit has been cool so far. <laughs> it's been cool as hell. <laughs> yeah, it's been working good. Hell yeah, dude. Wow. We just pull the video up, stick the video down, move the shit around. Like this is cool. <laughs> All right. Um, what did I have on here next? Uh do I want to keep it kind of themed? We'll do the main one now. I'm I'm mad I even had to watch this. I, I should have brought see, this. I should have done this during the time travel segment. <laughs> you just whooped me in those ass. Well, I could have stopped this from happening. I could have oh. whooped Blake's ass so he didn't get to find this video. All right. Angela Lee, Angela Lee had <laughs> Oh no. Okay. There we go. Why is this shit tripping? Nigga Stephanie Santiago. She used to be so bad. That's her right there. Mm-hmm. She's kind of cool. Um, no, she's straight, but like she she took hell off her Instagram because like she she started getting too much work done. Like her body like is be like melting, bro. Like when you leave like oh, okay. plastic like, next to the heater all day, like yeah. How real left us? This nigga main knows why, bro. No, no, hold on, we gotta stop this. Hey, that shit dripping. It's not working. It's working. It's just that one right there. That window is like jumping around for some reason. Yeah, like, let's not see. All right, we're good. Huh? No, what was the role play? Yeah, the role yeah, play. The role- All right, he's on lip service. They asking him about role play. They did lip service is Angela Lee's podcast thing, but um, this is like a particularly well, yeah, it's about like just sexual stuff, kind of and stuff that people are into, and just like ask celebrities about different shit that they did and. What they like. Rolls. This feels like it's gonna be so wrong. It's so wrong. I'm gonna tell you right now. I've oh never God. talked about this. Uh oh. shit. Dun, dun, dun. I like to be like a runaway slave. Okay, no. Man, oh, oh shit. Oh my God. <laughs> I like to play like a runaway slave. Okay. I like what to play like a, diso- a disobedient slave <laughs> with a white woman. So tell me like what you say. Yes, master. <laughs> I was a sorry. I've, I've, it's, it's two. It's, it's it's two of them. Like it's like me. <laughs> Getting whooped, right? You get whooped. It's like, it's like I play like you whip it, but most of them don't want to play like that. This is this. Yeah, I was gonna say, what white woman goes along with this? <laughs> they don't want to play like that. They don't. Okay. Want, this is my. Fa- it's like, listen, you're gonna act like <laughs> your masters. Your your masters. Come on, dude, this, this nigga in jail. And I'm the runner. And I just got whooped by master for oh, eyeballing okay. me. Oh. But the whole time you've been really. You know you been you like me. Anyway. You been eyeballing me. Oh, uh, this sounds like some freaky porn. I'm interested. Right, this some freaky shit. And then yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna come all sweaty, right? Just finished getting whooped, and you're gonna say, "No, Billy Joe, no, no, Billy Joe, no." <laughs> Master's not gonna like it. He's not gonna like it. I said, "You know you want it, man. This is an old script. Yeah, it's old script." So, I'm, so why would I have done this? He's Speaking from experience. No. Nobody really went along with it. Like, I okay. stood up on the wall and said, come on, let's act it out. And he was like, man, no, are you crazy? Stood up on the wall. Let me call you the N-word. See, this is... this is Because this comes this with it. Where, this is where it goes deep. Oh, no. <laughs> this is where oh, I, no. I would be canceled after this. <laughs> he be right like, here. don't say it. Go ahead. I don't know if I can say this. Say it. <laughs> I'm going to take Gigi's advice. <laughs> 
<laughs> this is really it, I want to know. I don't know because how much do you think you drink so far? Too much, way too much. You know, right. talking about right, right, right. though. Niggas gonna start talking to themselves out of doing a bad thing like that. Shit. Okay. Up. In the, in, in mm-hmm. the fantasy world, in the fantasy world, in the fantasy world, and then they go ahead and do it this, anyway. I've never, nobody's ever did it. Mm-hmm. He's, but he's so the other thing is that he would do. I think he switched he's up. Calling me a nigga. Why are they doing it? Right. Mm. So let's say you he were one day. Up. Right. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. He didn't that shit after. He's weird. <laughs> but you, do you think you would feel weird after? Nah. You know some childish gonna be that shit. I could never don't imagine video. myself admitting that. Don't put the fucking video. Not even. Just no, he, there was an interview that. where he said he likes uh women calling him that. There was sex. Oh, never mind. I could. With the whooping and stuff too. Imagine myself. No, no, just like you like being called like the n-word during sex. But imagine admitting that to a room of bad bitches, like a bunch of fine ass women, and you telling them how you like to have like white women with you and call you nigga. A room of bad. What did you say? That nigga's weird, yo. That shit's weird. (laughs) Some weirdo shit. Because I don't think bad bitches like Cam Newton does. I think that is a compliment. No, I know, I know, but just Cam Newton's uh, take on bad bitches. So much different than mine, but like a room full of bad bitches, and he's like, "Nah, I'm about to just tell them the wildest shit ever on camera in front of the that's, world." That's why I know we had quite a bit to drink because he he realized how bad what he was doing, what he was about to say was, and he looked at her and said, "I'm not going to do this because you said to not do this." And then he sat there with the alcohol, just brewing some more, and, and then he anyway. says, "Yeah, oh uh, no, nah. don't that nigga's hey, weird, man. Jail niggas is different than though." My, Send my PR person yep. that episode so I don't put that, that PTSD. He yeah, from the Booty yeah. Spitters. <laughs> <laughs> the Cook County. I was telling uh, him he had a warden doing shit to him. Oh, oh my hell God. no! No, 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 no. I feel oh. like a op- I feel like an open and free man, and I would never admit that. That's that quite weird, weird, man. That's quite the kink. Niggas is weird, bro. Like, Blake man, said, I, uh, I, know you, "I know it's not good to kink shame, but I'm kink shame, and that's weird." Blake said, "Who, who, shame. who, 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 who yeah, was it that said uh, him slapping niggas might have just been a, a, a fetish?" <laughs> wow, I didn't think of that. Yo, I hate it. His whole shit was a his whole like rollout was a palm. It was an advertisement. It was like put it on my ass. Come oh, bring God. it to me. <laughs> yeah, that's what they said yesterday. They said his rollout was the he had the hand of God or some shit like that. Nah, that's a weird nigga, man. That's why the music stinks. Yeah, it's up there. Do y'all care about I, the USFL at all? Are you gonna get some action on that this weekend, Jamal? Oh, that starts this week. Yep. Are, are there yeah, any like notable like players that were in the NFL like in there? Like, is there any names you guys like recognize? Um, I don't have that pulled up right now. All I know is there was what, what was Paxton Lynch, right? Oh wow, he barely played. I know, like, no Paxton Lynch is in there, but I don't really know anybody, so I don't really care. Shout out to the Memphis King. I do. Uh, Shea Patterson. Um, who uh, was that? Uh, well, he's at Michigan. Then he went to Ole Miss. Shea, Shea Patterson has been in like three years worth of Madden uh, created draft classes coming out as a top recruit, yeah. and it's now n- never touched the NFL. Then uh, what? Uh, Jordan Tamu. Houston in college. That name sounds familiar. Um, who else we got on here? Uh, John Franklin the third. Oh yeah, he's from um, Last Chance U. Oh, he's supposed to go to FSC, right? Well, yes. he went, he went to Auburn. Athletic. Yeah, he was yeah. in the NFL for a little minute too. Yep. Oh, he, he won. Good. He won a bowl. Oh cha- uh, yeah, he won a BCS championship at Florida State in 2013, and a Super Bowl with the Buccaneers in 2020. Oh, he got shoot. caught up. He got caught up in the NFL with uh. When Antonio Brown had the fake Vax card, he was one of the three teammates that had the fake Vax cards. Damn. Oh, wow. How are you going to be playing with fire like that? <laughs> Dumbass. Yeah, no. Wow. He was fucking nice, though. Can you gamble on this shit? Are they letting people bet on this? Probably not. Uh, they got to. I'm, I'm, I'll play the rules because the rules aren't crazy like the like the fan, fan control football shit. It's, it's still just normal football. So hold on. Let me uh, go on MGM and look. There's no way. There's no way to like. Make sure they're like not cheating. 
No, uh, the same way you do it in other sports. But I mean, I, I'd imagine they're probably going to want to let a weekend of this shit go football. first so they get the lines right. Because it's going to be no, nah, nigga, that's on here, bro. Is it really on this shit? Stop. USFL futures, everything. Oh, oh, the futures is crazy. The rules different. Oh, you hear me? Okay. What'd you say, Blake? About to play the rules difference video so we understand like why this league's different with look for tomorrow when the okay. premier game. In the USFL, when you score a touchdown, you've got three options. Why do you, you can like this? Point, extra point, I don't know. Snapping it from the 15 yard line, that'll okay. get you one point. Or you can put the ball at the two, run a scrimmage play, and get two points. Hey, you get three. But if you want to go for three, they'll put the ball at the 10. You run a scrimmage play. It's successful for a score. You get three points. I don't hate that. Which means if you're by oh, hell no. that touchdown, you could tie the game. And more importantly, a two-score game is an 18-point difference. In the USFL, offenses will have more options than ever. Why? Because they can throw two forward passes behind the line of scrimmage. This will open up the playbook like never before. They're not going to have time for that shit. Quarterback throwing the ball Fuck forward. no. Receiver. You're not going to have time for all that. Wide receiver throwing the ball forward back to the quarterback who advances for a touchdown. Imagine no, the possibilities <laughs> in the USFL. Overtime will be like you've never seen before. It's a best of three shootout. We'll line up at the two and alternate possessions between the teams. If we're still tied after three possessions, oh, that sounds like CG. Sudden death until we have a win. <laughs> That's crazy. And you have another option on top of the onside kick. We're going to give you a scrimmage play. Fourth and 12 from the 33-yard line. If you make a first down, you keep the ball. If you don't, you're going to give the ball back to the defense. Oh, give me that. Put that in the league. You're get the ball all the, the way down to the 10-yard line. Justin Herbert's never uh, getting off the field. What a reward. Hell yeah. This is the USFL. All right. That's really interesting. That sounds like fun. And thanks. Yeah. And then they're going to do, uh, I saw they're going to have like a radar chip in the ball in order to do the first downs uh, rather yeah. than do like the yellow line and the chain and shit oh, like yeah. that. And they also Put have helmet. On the NFL. Put pressure on the NFL. That's what, I, yeah, this is the innovation league it looks like. So maybe, maybe some cool shit comes from it. Nice. That sounds better than I thought. You can honestly. really bet on this shit. Holy shit. This is crazy. What are the lines looking like? Or it's just features? Uh... Is there a heavy favorite? Let me go back to the football. So the, yeah. the game tomorrow is the New Jersey Generals versus the Birmingham Stallions. The Generals are a plus 125 underdog for the money line. We should just bet on that just to see. Yeah. That sounds like the, the line setters have no idea what's about to happen. Yeah, yeah. plus 125. Like, that's... Yeah, game. like so. So one game is plus one twenty five, one twenty plus one twenty five, plus one ten. Then the biggest one is the Pittsburgh Marlins versus the Tampa Bay Bandits. They're plus one sixty. Oh yeah, I put money on that. Yeah, it. This sounds. This yeah, you're basically gonna go in blind, but it does sound like they have no idea what the fuck's about to happen because all yeah. those are so close. Mm-hmm. If you pick all the underdogs, twenty bucks wins you five sixty. Mm-hmm. How much do you You said. If you pick all the under, if you parlay all the underdogs, five wins you 130, 20 will get you 550. And this this might be the smartest time to play all the underdogs. Yeah, honestly, the, yeah. None of those really teams might be. not be bad. Yeah. Or if you just pick like all the underdogs to like cover. Honestly, like, man, with all these new rules, like, so like if you look at the total, so like, so the first game is 41 and a half, 42 and a half, 43 and a half, and one's 41 and a half. Like, you have a chance to get nine points on one possession. So, dude, I feel like these games have to go over. You would think, right? Yeah, and if I'm like, so let's just say I'm the coach. I'm definitely. We're not gonna practice doing one point plays, two point plays. Yeah, what the fuck? We're gonna practice plays from the ten yard line and to, to get in the end zone, which you should already have a ton of those because like that's part that's, of your yeah. Already. That doesn't sound crazy to get on a play. Time. Yeah, I'm never kicking a field goal. No. Because even if you if you miss one field goal of the game, you might as well have went for two, at least once. Especially exactly. if you, you want that's the place to get off the crazy ass two forward passes if you want to try it. I guess. But. Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, dude. Because honestly, like yeah, like most of these, like as long as each team scores like twenty points, like you're good, like twenty two points a game, man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 
That sounds like fun. Mm. Mm. I definitely might go there after this, honestly. I'm not going to lie. Just go put up the, all the rovers. I thought about it. I should have went. I should have went today. Uh, uh, the Before all the playing yeah. stuff started, I thought about trying to go and just like bet on all the playing games. And I got in my head, I picked all of them right. I don't know if I would have did that at the kiosk, but in my head, I was right all the way across the board. Um, but I need to go try to bet on some uh, some NBA series coming. Hey, up. we'll talk off here. Yeah, we 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 can go make that work. We can go make that work. Did y'all I'm see? Gonna uh, I'm gonna come pick up? you up. I got the new whip. I'm gonna I'm gonna come give you a ride. Oh wow! Awesome. Y'all see Colin Kaepernick yeah, working yeah. out with the uh, the I am athlete team. Oh, I saw some. Clips oh no, that. I didn't see that. Was he? Did they do like an interview with him? I think the interview's coming, but um, oh, Brandon, no, I didn't see that. And Brandon Nocho were out there throwing the ball around with him. Oh, I no, I did Somebody up on a route. I saw um, Michael Vick was on uh, Colin Cowherd this week, and he said he was out there with um, Colin Kaepernick, Brandon. Yeah, they Nocho. put that one up too. Uh, hold on. Big ass what? No, I'm just That's crazy. Hey, people are really going to have to start watching the videos now. Blake is really like DJing with video. If you've only been listening to audio. Yeah, we going to fuck him. You gotta pick us up. I'm so happy seeing everybody down here working with them. They'll watch their name off the receivers and shit. Big motherfucker. Hey, Kaepernick do look like he hasn't thrown a ball in a hot minute though. Whenever his like arm goes back, it, look, it don't look the same like it used to look. Yeah, they ain't playing like four or five years. Yeah, it's so sidearm. Like he comes off like almost flat. So Jarvis cut though. Wait, who, wait, who's running these routes with them? That was Jarvis who, Landry. It's Jarvis Landry. No, I'm saying who's like recording these? Because that last Jarvis Landry route, he like cutting with him and shit. Yeah, he, he just sit inside on the post. Make a Mari cameraman. Hey, that looked good. That looked good. This is the one. Um. Oh no, I don't want this shit. Hold on, this is the good one. This shit is so low. Can y'all even hear that? I can hear it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, you, you know they always do the shit where they ask like who's your ex? The ex receiver? Yeah. Oh no, I thought this one was interesting. It's not actually not that much now. I'm gonna put my big body on the back Oh, Chad Johnson was so fucking cold, man. Like, it's, it's all right, right. They both, they both this. Whenever they ask who's the Ooh. X, who's the Y, it's always funny to see the other one's face because they'd be like, "All right, yeah, like I'm not, I'm not upset, but I'm upset." They, uh, no, yeah, he's yeah, he's out of here too. <laughs> cash out, better cash out on that fucking bail. I was one. I thought that was a uh, because remember Young Dingley had the little group from Detroit. Well, I know uh, Cardo was part. Not Cardo. Cash out. Yeah, Doughboys cash out. I was, that's who I thought that was at first, but now nah, that's damn. Uh, yeah, now nah, he's going to jail, bro. Like I said it last night, he's doing one piece numbers. Like he, he, he's out of here. <laughs> he's yeah. doing one piece numbers. Yeah, bro. He's what are, can you tell me what one piece numbers are? Uh, he's doing 1,000 in uh, 27 <laughs> years. You're it's awful. something close, something close to that. Like, man, they, You're he's out of here, bro. It's a sick. I, well, I watched a video about this earlier that was like way more interesting than the articles have been because the video said like one of the people that got indicted with him was his mom, and like she was apparently one of his like workers. Um, but none of the mm. other things that recorded that, so it's mm. still interesting, but it's not as interesting. I hope he's not making his mom sell coochie. That's crazy. <laughs> Uh, it sounds like she might have been doing it already from what they were saying in the other video, but because I, I haven't seen it reported by a reputable news and, source. And if you're going to sell coochie, you might as well sell coochie for me. That's Keep crazy. it in the family. That's crazy. <laughs> I haven't watched this yet, but this looked interesting. Toronto Maple Leaf fans, brutal beat down in stands. Fight yeah. on video. Dude, okay, hold on. We're going to hey. put this shit back over here because this one are, wasn't. Are, you know. Are we pivoting the video? Is that what we're doing? Pivoting the video? Did I don't know. It's do just that? I never had the option. This is like the type of shit I wanted to do with you guys, and now like we can finally fucking do it. Wow, Blake go heavy. Hey, <laughs> this I lady's stop, face huh? looks like she's getting whooped on. No, yeah, play that. I want to see. Look, like somebody getting fucked up. <laughs> 
<laughs> the music. The music is fucking no. oh. 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 Why is this video so much louder than all the other videos? Yo, he's whooping his ass. My goodness. Look how red my man's face is. He got dribbled off the step, the concrete step. You like, yeah, you you like a red skittle. You're liable to get head butted. Holy shit. Nobody leaves the house wearing white low chucks ready to fight, except this guy. <laughs> She's wild on him still. Wow. Hey, what you guys this thing on? Uh, like, you guys see these fights, whatever, and like somebody like you know, like women, they kind of like push you around and try to like, if you're say you're getting into a uh, an altercation with a man at a game, and you're practically ready to defend yourself, and his woman tries to like hit you with something or throw something at you. Are you willing to punch her? Mm. You think it's off rules? Are you asking specifically about that game at the Steelers game or that fight at the Steelers game? That just well, I've seen a couple of them, and like people be like, "Oh man, you should never hit a woman." Like, bro, if I'm fighting somebody and I see her trying to like, because think about it, like if she does something to you, like that could like fuck you up, and then you just get washed. That's all it takes, you know. If I'm in a fight, I'm hitting anybody who is fighting. Is what okay. I'm say. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Yeah. If you're fighting, I'm fighting. Yeah, like if she's throwing really shit at you. Nah, you gotta punch that bitch, bro. I'm saying right now that I would, I don't think I would hit the women, but it, it all, like, I don't know. Like, if it I comes down to the violence, let's say, like, let's say, like, she starts, like, wilding on my wife or something like that. Um, and, like, me just trying to break it up is not enough. And, like, I gotta, gotta do what I gotta do. But that just, I don't know. Like, that's gonna be like, I'm the talking last about, like, the one, like, trying to, like, hit you and, no. like, like, get at you, like, because while you're pretty much you're getting jumped, kind of. Yeah, I'm no, sorry. If, if it's just she didn't get drafted in the WNBA draft on Monday, she ain't gonna be doing nothing to me. If, if it's just a woman, I'm not fighting like just a woman. Like I'm getting myself out of that situation, but I'm not fighting her. Yeah. If I'm in a fight and there's a woman throwing something or like trying to join in on hitting me, I'm just hitting whoever's hitting me at that point. I can like I can go I to my can't. garage right now and still probably get you like 12, 13 <laughs> reps on that 225. I'm not fighting a woman. I'm good. Yeah, I'm, no, I'll get out of there. 1v1 a woman, not happening. It jumped, everybody's getting it. I'm sorry. Oh, I, I can't. Four women I, I trying to jump you? <laughs> oh, oh, yeah. I don't have time to, like, be like, <laughs> yeah, I don't have time to be like, if it's a man fighting me and some a woman tries to jump in, I don't have time to discern, like, oh, is she, like, breaking it up? Is she not hurting me? Like, no. You gotta get hit. If it's four women, I hope I can run. And if not, a. <laughs> Four win equals one nigga. We fight. No. Let's go. <laughs> I'm getting out of there like Derrick Henry's. <laughs> <laughs> That's some good man. Uh-uh. Weight room still do numbers though. So yeah, if I I'm hoping That's that fun. I don't have to fight you. I'm just putting you on the ground. What else is on here? What else is on here? I don't want to watch nothing with Boosie in it. My goodness. No, okay. He told his mom to let, let her ass out because she got on the uh, one care. piece. All right. Yep. Um. Okay. Well, let me stop doing all this video shit because now I do realize what you're saying. This is kind of a you know, man. Would y'all did y'all want to get into the uh, jerseys? Because I had I pulled up the, the list. All right. So, so explain it though. Explain it. Explain what you have. That way we can know what to say. Following you. We won't so say what we asked for. We won't say what you got. What, you brought it up to me what yesterday, right? Uh, think, so, like, so pretty much it was like, uh, what jerseys do you think was a uh, double, triple platinum in the hood? That like jerseys that like you know that like, like that we was wearing, like you know, like our friends hanging out, like most like black kids and shit. And then so like I kind of came up with the what? list of it yesterday, but then I was thinking like, then I was thinking like most just popular jerseys. Cause I, so I was thinking like. Us being in Tacoma, you know, seeing like all our friends, whatever, who we hanging out, you know, mostly niggas and stuff. But then I was thinking, like, damn, I wonder if like what jerseys was popping like just all throughout the U.S. that you know, like everybody in the hill was wearing all them jerseys. So I kind of came up with a little bit of a list. But then it's like I was thinking, like, damn, this seems just like I'm naming off like a lot of like popular like, NBA players. But you got to think about it, like, you know, it's a lot of niggas in the NBA, you know, so. But this is what I came up. With. Wait, before you start going, I'm a prompt and say. The reason that we got into the debate for this was because I, Blake, what jersey was it that you mentioned? It was the Vic. It was the Vic jersey. But it, we were, it was because the video for the dude that passed who made the we ready. 
Just yeah. like Archie. Archie. Yep, Archie Everson. Um, because yeah. in his video, the Vic jerseys was out. And yeah, and we were, I was saying, like, I can't think of, like, another active player at the time that had a jersey going crazy. Because we were thinking, like, Vic was active, but then it was, like, a bunch of throwbacks. Like, everything was a throwback. Throwbacks was yeah, big. Yeah, that time period, yeah, like, early 2000s. Yeah. And then, like, so like, we were trying to figure two. out, like, what hood jerseys, specifically, like, active, but also throwbacks, like, went crazy. And Jamal came with a list for us. Yeah, I, I know for a fact the Vic, the Vic jersey had to be everywhere. Because think about it, like, dog. That was number one. Niggas out here had them. So, you know, like, dog, I guarantee you see, if you were in Atlanta in that time, I guarantee you could probably see, what, 15% of people in Michael grocery stores maybe wearing a Michael Vick jersey, maybe 25%. On a Sunday? On a, on a Sunday? On a Sunday, it might be, like, yeah. I couldn't even imagine. It might be 100%. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah, I think, I think everywhere you could see people wearing it. But in Atlanta, it was probably overwhelming. Because, like, every kid, like, because we used to wear jerseys like T-shirts in the early 2000s. That's a fact. Yeah, early like, 2000s. I'm just yeah, playing sure. outside in a jersey that's super ratty and shitty, but I'm just playing outside in a jersey. Like, there's Mike Vick jerseys everywhere in Atlanta. And yeah, they were up like here, the too. old ones. And then even, like, the new ones, like, when they had the new ones with the little stripe on the, the shoulder, like, yep. those were crazy. Like, everybody had. Dog, like, I remember, like, dude, for, like, Little League, niggas used to put, like, football jerseys over their pads for practice. Oh, yeah. That's tough. Yeah. Because we didn't want to practice jersey, and I got a football jersey, so. Yeah. Yep. I remember I, I played in a Vic one, and I had, like, a Marshall Falk jersey. I used to throw over my pads. Wow. Yeah. You thought you were nice. Yeah, you thought you was doing something. But that was the thing, like, dog, like, there was, like, hell of us in Vic jerseys. So, it was like, all right, a bunch of niggas look the same now, so it's confusing. Because everybody had Vic jerseys. Okay. Let me just go get another elite back I, I think we can say that that's, like, that's the diamond jersey. Like, that went diamond Everybody, yeah. every city, state, everywhere had a Vic jersey. Everybody had a Vic jersey, bro. So obviously, like that. So I, I say I would consider like the. I think out here we probably saw like the newer, the more not the last recent Falcon jersey, but I'm pretty sure out there they had like the old ones. I like the old ones better personally, like the throwback ones. But yeah, Black so I got the on the sleeve. Yeah, see that. that's, that's a cold ass jersey. <laughs> So I got the black Iverson 76ers jersey. Because Tim Iverson was that nigga. He's yep. the coolest NBA player ever. Easily. That's gotta be up there. I saw I seen I so that, many jerseys just. I think that might up. I think that might be diamond as well. Yeah, it Vic probably is honestly. to go hoop with that. I think Vic and Iverson is diamond in the hood. Yeah, two yeah. Virginia niggas. That's crazy. The uh I got the, the baby blue, the mellow uh Nuggets jersey. When the Nuggets mm-hmm. got those new jerseys when Mellows got there. Yep. Okay. So that, okay. I got that. Do you remember the uh I got all the mellow Oak Hill jerseys on there? Oh yep. Everybody <laughs> had those. Yo, everybody had those. Yep. I debated throwing the uh the, the, the green St. Vincent St. Mary's Brown High School jersey. I saw it a little bit, but it wasn't as much as those uh hard to get. mellow. Much yeah, hard to get. It, was, to get it was a holy grail in the hood. It wasn't necessarily obtained in the hood. Yeah. Okay. I had that the throwback uh blue nuggets jersey with the pickaxe on it. Remember that one? The Alex the that Alex yellow was joint. They had the uh I know I know the jersey. I, I just I'm saying I didn't see that one out here. We, yeah, okay. I, 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 can't, I can't I can't put that on the level of anything you said so far. No, 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 but that was one. Okay, let me see. I got jo- I think Jordan Wizards jerseys were popping because I remember yeah. I first got one. Yeah. <laughs> I remember I was in like Georgia and I seen those like yeah. in any color. But I feel like I had that white crazy. one. And I feel like that white, that white wizard jersey was clean as hell. You didn't know it was like, nasty yet. Yeah. It was Jordan. <laughs> I feel like I remember the blue one, but yeah, that that white and the blue went crazy. Yeah. I got the, the early 2000, uh the ones with like the, the shiny uh magic jerseys with the stars on it. The T Mac one? T-Mac? Yeah. Yes, T-Mac. Specifically like the T Mac one? one. Yeah, the T Mac yeah. one. Yeah, specifically the T Mac one. And I got that I was put, one again. That's another one that I wouldn't put on the tier of everything you said so far. It's not everything like, else you said so far is like you could go to a park on a like random Thursday. You were seeing it and seeing that jersey, but the team one was like, hey, I seem like when they were busted up too later. Yeah, the T Mac one is like, oh, he got that, and the yeah, the like Nuggets that, that one, blue one so was you can like, see the oh, shit, you got that, like yeah. that's hard. I got specifically the yellow Kobe and uh, Shaq Laker jerseys, the yellow ones. Because I feel like I saw more yellow ones than purple ones back in the day. Yep, for sure. You never see purple. You never see people wearing purple Laker Laker jerseys. Yeah, I don't see them as much as. Never. 
You didn't really see the white ones either, but those white ones are super clean, but those came out a little later. The white ones are more mm-hmm. popular now and were more popular during the Kobe era, but you almost always see yellow Laker jerseys. That's true. I got another Iris on one. Remember the half white, half red? <laughs> the one that was in You Got Served and that oh, the reason on. that they... Go ahead. It, I don't think... That one was, was tough on the game. I didn't even see that one outside, though. That shit was no, hard. I see people having it out here. Blake, my I little brother, my I've little brother has that. one of those, and Al- Iverson retired when he was like three years old. Yeah, yeah. that jersey's flames. I they made they made the two tone do rags because of that jersey. Mm. I promise you, there's no other reason that they made the two tone do rags because the first ones I would ever see was the blue and the red. That blue and mm. red Iverson jersey, triple platinum. No, that white and red was different, though, man. I see. Oh, okay. I didn't see the white and the red. I seen the, the blue half and white, red. half red. I see yeah. the half, like blue, <laughs> half red. Sorry, not the white and red. The nah, half, that blue, half, half white, red half red. red. I've seen everywhere. And then I got what else I got here? This this probably just out here, but I said the green and red uh Sonic Peyton jersey, the mostly green one, with you know, the little bit of the, the throwbacks local. before they went to like the bright green and gold, but it was like yep. that darker green. I agree. Yeah. That's that was a popular jersey out here. And, and now I feel like you see the Kemp jerseys more than you see Peyton. Yeah. Like you see the Kemp jerseys everywhere now. And then my last one is the uh purple uh Randy Moss jersey, the Vikings one. I agree. Yeah, yeah. that was a popular jersey. Mm-hmm. Did y'all I don't, I don't, was there any that y'all could think of? Because I was thinking I like, yes. I feel like there's which ones? Um well, so there was a run on these. It was Nike did the Vic High School jersey, the bit, the light blue one. Oh, shit, I remember this. I remember the Virginia Tech jersey was out there. Oh, I remember look. seeing those. I don't remember a Vic High School jersey. Yeah, y'all y'all don't live with DJ Max like I did. I got this around the same time <laughs> I got the little kid, mate. Oh, shit. Nigga, that's hard. Yeah. yeah. But it didn't say Vic on the it back, though, did it? You. Yeah, it did. Oh, I feel like I remember seeing this jersey with no Vic on the back. I, I don't remember yeah, I this. Feel, that looks kind of familiar a little bit now. I probably haven't seen this in like over twenty years. But I had this, and I, you know, I wasn't dipped out like that or nothing. Um, oh, but wow. this is um, this one's got to be up there too. Again, this is like st- I seen music videos. I think you nailed everything I seen in person. The one thing you you didn't say um, that I saw a lot of around Tacoma um, was the Marcus Trufant jerseys. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. I, I never yeah. saw that. I was thinking of a Steelers jersey too, but I was thinking like, man, did I see like Roethlisberger's or Bettis jerseys? Because I feel like I definitely saw like some Steelers jerseys going on. Oh, Marlowe jerseys were, 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 I feel like I've seen quite a few of those too. It was probably but it was a lot of Steelers one. apparel more so than actual jerseys. Yeah, you're probably right. But yeah, that was I a lot of ago. I think you, you, you said them all. You yeah. hit them. You hit them all. No, My sister had a Kings Chris Weber jersey. She liked. Oh, she had a Bibby jersey. She's Bibby. Yep. Was it the uh, the baby blue throwback one? Dude, Nike. Uh, when they used to make them black, sling oh, throwbacks. One jersey that had a crazy run was that Michael Jordan Laney jersey. Oh, like yeah, his yeah. high school joint. I remember that? That went crazy for um, three summers. You never. I feel like every nigga in Tacoma had one of those. N- every jersey that I had came through TJ Maxx. So if it didn't show up there, then I didn't get it. Dog, you I feel like, heat I, feel like you could find, I feel like you can find the Laney jersey at TJ Maxx. That's where I got both my Camarlo kills was at TJ Maxx. Dog, I had this. I remember my dad bought me that filthy ass uh, Rasheed Wallace uh, Blazers throwback from TJ Maxx. Mm. Oh, gosh. That shit was so cold. Worst time. No, you really couldn't just get like dope ass jerseys. And I remember at the finish line, they used to have the two jerseys for what, 80 bucks. Not was it finished? Damn. No, champs, champs. It was champs. Cause I remember you used to have to go to the South Center, or we used to have to catch the, the bus that would take you to Parkland, the South, the South Hill Mall. We used to fucking mob on up there. This joint, like the royal blue on the sides and the uh, the white. Yeah, yeah. I remember seeing the, the that lane. That one that was a little bit. They had a little run. Yeah, everywhere. Mm-mm. Yeah, jerseys were kind of like cheap back then. I do feel like All Star jerseys had a run too. Now that I'm thinking about it, they used to be actually good. Yeah, like and that blue one. You are talking about like that blue one? Yeah. yeah. Hey, Where it's in, in Vegas, that one. 
right Probably. after my uh, right after Shakur about the uh, the Mike Bibby jersey, I started seeing that bitch everywhere. The Vancouver one. Yeah, that jersey did get super popular out of nowhere. That's a nice jersey though. That's a that, that's a that's that's a top tier jersey. The old Grizzly jerseys are tough. Mm-mm. I'm trying to think like there were some teams that like just never really had like a popping jersey like that. I feel like oh, you guys did, it's you it's guys, crazy. We did all this without saying the Jordan jersey. Like the Jordan jersey of oh, any yeah. type of yeah, any no, like just sure. the main Jordan jersey a Bulls jersey, jersey. Yeah. went crazy. This is Curse of Chicago. Anywhere. Oh yeah, I remember that one. The Curse of Chicago, the pinstripes. Pinstripes. The pinstripes. I feel like everybody had the pinstripe one because you can get them fake hella easy. <laughs> I'll keep saying everybody. Why am I not in any of these everybody? <laughs> I don't know shit. where you were for them not to be everybody. I feel like yeah, I remember had uh Central Tacoma, Jordan. maybe. I ain't keeping yeah. union. Ask about me. Go to the key bank. Is it still key bank? Go outside. That don't count. It's still there. All right, yeah. No, I was, that's, that's mm-hmm. my block. You you run through there, you check in. Uh, we had the, we had a straight ass uniform at Baker, so they were like it was like every like every other month you could wear like whatever you wanted to school. I remember one it was like in the eighth grade. I remember me and Michael came to school wearing the same shit. We both had on like fucking Bulls Jordan jerseys. I was so pissed. Y'all walked out the house to see each other. Like, all right, let's go. I just saw him like just the first period. I was like, dude, are you fucking serious? So I just put my shit on backwards. I didn't really do anything yeah, else. Yeah. Y'all was crisscrossed then. Uh, Wearing jersey well, backwards was so hard at one point in time. Yeah, this was either like seventh or eighth grade. I can't remember. I don't know what the fuck happened to all my NBA jerseys from like high school, but I had fucking I miss some of them damn jerseys. Mm-hmm. What was y'all favorite jersey you owned back in the day? That we had or just in general? That you owned, that like you had. I had the biggest North Carolina 23 you've ever seen in your <clears> life. You son of a bitch. It was like my favorite jersey as a kid. Uh, I, I from that card. <laughs> Relax. Uh, one of my favorite jerseys, though, that I do have and I still own is my uh, my Wake Forest Tim Duncan jersey. Just because I never see anybody with that jersey, like every anywhere. You're the only nigga I've ever seen with that. Yeah. I didn't even. Know, yeah, no, that's that's flames. Shakur seen me wear. I wore it backwards at our uh, '90s party that I had once. Mm, um, mine's probably. Uh, the Sam Perkins Sonic jersey that I have. Um, mm. I don't necessarily care about Sam Perkins at all, but it's just because I think it's older than me, so it came from like one of my parents. And I don't know why the hell they have it, but I have it, and I've worn it plenty of times. <laughs> you have worn it plenty of times. <laughs> yeah, so probably that. Um, if not, then when I was younger, probably like one of the Oak Hill ones or that Vic High School one. But that's really like all the jerseys that I had. So at some point, I I have like a Charles Barkley jersey now. I don't know how that came to be. I think it was my mom's. Um, oh, that big high school jersey, hard as fuck. I barely remember that. Yeah, I, don't, I gave that shit away. I've I sent so many clothes to Goodwill over the years. Um, I wish I wouldn't have done that one. That would have been cool to keep. Now it's two hundred dollars. So whatever. <laughs> Uh, I'm, I think for one of my birthdays, I remember my uncle. My uncle was dating some chick that worked at like a sports store or something. But I just remember he had like, and like somewhere in the mall. But I remember I had a dog. I had a. He got me the blue alternate Philly uh, Iverson jersey, but it was the authentic one, so it was like that super nice material. He got me that shit yeah. like my birthday in eighth grade. Dog, that shit was so hard. That was probably my favorite jersey I've ever owned. I had oh, some I Drew Brees jerseys, but then I. would let my emotions get the better of me and put them just in the bottom of a trash can. No, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. I don't thing. know, man. Because this is like the, the part of like of why like I be saying to y'all, um, well, just in general, like not letting, not caring about what these athletes and shit do off the field. Because all that happened from that was that like I lost two fucking jerseys that were both like kind of important to me. Like one I got from my dad and I went to go see them play in London. The other one rebought from me as like an early gift. Yeah. Okay, that's different. I thought you just like I don't have either of them now the just because I, I was really upset at Drew Brees at the moment. That was hey, crazy. Shit comes and goes, bro. <laughs> no, it, 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 it don't come back. So yeah, nah, don't really come back. Yeah. <laughs> and you should make a video of me burning and talking shit about it on the jacket on the internet like a jackass. Yeah, but it's like as much as I didn't fuck with Drew Brees as a person, still like I like I still fuck with him as my quarterback, like yeah. Oh, yeah, it might be nice to have just more Saints shit. Like, yeah, he's probably still like my favorite player. football player yeah, ever. Get nigga jerseys. Whatever. Hey, it's what it is. Never learn. Once Ian Book takes over, bro, you won't even remember that guy. 
Uh, I think it's going to be tough to forget. He's like <laughs> top three all time in most passing stats. So. <laughs> Do you have yeah, a Camaro jersey? Not, uh, I don't have any of the Saints jerseys. Those are the only two I had. Two, two I, can't, I can't believe he doesn't have a Michael Thomas jersey. Yeah, I'm kind of surprised he don't have one. But like, okay, I'm sorry. Both of y'all are like, he's like Drew Brees. I thought that was like your favorite, like, uh, franchise all time quarterback. So. When you have something like that, that type of stability, it just tends to be the, 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 the player you're going to get something Wait, of. You, you said my team doesn't have an established all time quarterback. Yeah, his feet are still getting wet. Are you lying? Uh, you, Philip Rivers didn't exist. The nigga that replaced Drew Brees. You hated him for most of his career. Shut up. No, I I hated him for the back end of his career. I loved him for most of his career. That's crazy. Okay. That's crazy. Wow. Philip's up there. He's I'm, a taking risk as, Eli. I'm, I'm taking that as personal disrespect. Wow! I'm taking that as personal disrespect. <laughs> Fuck this nigga, man. Who's Yo, what the, speaking of football, drafts in what, two weeks, right? It's in 13 mm-hmm. days. What day of the week? Thursday? It's on a Thursday. Okay, Thursday. Night one. Yes, sir. Oh, yeah, we can tap a... Uh, at least me and Jamal will be doing a live stream. Blake should be here, ideally. Hopefully with his dad and his sister, who both love football. Uh, if you are a fan of a team and you want to tap in with us on the live stream, get on, talk your shit. Tell yeah. us about oh, shit. Your you team. just want to get in here and chill and talk with us, man. Yeah, we're Enjoy we're gonna host the, uh, just DM us on uh, Twitter or Instagram or any of us individually. We'll we'll kind of talk you through what we got to do. But yeah, we're gonna be on the Twitch. Live, I'll give you a thousand dollars. <laughs> All right. If too. you put your pussy lips on live, Blake will give you a thousand dollars. Um, he has it. <laughs> He has it ready to go in an envelope. <laughs> says pussy lip dollars. Pussy uh, lip dollars. If you a nigga, please don't put any lips on the camera. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I second that. I agree. But yeah, that'll mm. be a fun time for sure. That'll be a fun time. Oh shit! What else y'all want to go over? Uh, um, I, I, I family. Oh, my bad. I, oh, I, I do need to watch that. I've heard from now multiple people that it is dope. I do need to watch it. The la- the only thing I want to talk about basketball wise, and we can talk playoffs tonight if y'all want or next week. Um, but uh, Paul George just deciding to get COVID somehow. That's in, crazy, uh, bro. <laughs> April 2020. Another example of weakness, right? <laughs> Yo. He had, he looked good as hell. Thirty one last uh, in their their playing game, they caught a nail, and he was just like, "Nah, I got COVID. Sorry, I can't play anymore." That's kind of funny. That is he crazy. Looked, he looked like the healthiest nigga on the planet three weeks ago. Yeah, oh, Kyrie out here, unvaxxed, testing negative with the yeah. flamethrower. Paul George Kyrie. out here, vaxxed up, COVID. <laughs> yeah. Hate to see it. Uh, they said that's that's exactly how panic, pandemic P is supposed to end his career. He got to retire this year. Dog, he looked nice as fuck when he's actually playing and decided to just like randomly pull up with COVID. And I hate to see it for him, honestly, because like, it, yeah, th- he's immensely talented and all these shortcomings he's had it, had during his career is just like, man. It's incredible. Having yeah. bad luck. I feel like I'm the only person on the planet that has bad luck like this. He really just got awful luck. Uh, hey, speaking of an awful situation, though, give, what do y'all think, like, about this jazz thing, right? Like, with uh, Rudy and Donovan, like, where did they kind of go from here? Like, have one, has that team, like, under, <laughs> like, has, have they come short of their expectations, you feel like? Yes. You, okay. hey, they've looked, like, damn near, like, dominant during, like, the uh, regular season. I think they've been the number one seed once in a top three or four seed almost every year that the two of them so have they, been together. should have played in the finals by now, and that probably would have been that they did everything they're supposed to do? I think so. Or like okay. – and I don't – even like a Western Conference final, which they've never made it to, or at least like – I feel like they're like typically a first-round exit or a sec. I guess a second-round exit is not bad, but like I feel like they're like – a first round exit or a second round exit every year. And it's not really like super competitive. I know they took uh, the Nuggets to seven one year. But yeah, I feel like they usually get like shown up when they're in the playoffs. And last year, like last year was like an indictment on them because Rudy Gobert got drugged by Terrence Mann. 
Like that oh, was Jesus. what did the deal. <laughs> <laughs> like they they were like, we're gonna run Terrence Mann at the five. Uh, he's a point guard. Yeah, we're gonna do it anyway, and like just wash them off the court. So yeah, I think they've underperformed. I think I was listening to like the athletic basketball pod, and they were saying like when the Warriors made like the thirty point comeback on them of what last week or something like that. Yep. They basically ran the same as that plan that the Clippers did, which is like exposing Rudy Gobert and just yeah. getting the open three in the corner. Oh, there's two people in the corner. What's Rudy gonna do? Yep. And there's no answer yep. for it. And uh, like. Yeah, I feel like they've been evenly matched with teams, and the regular season they look so good, and they just don't have any answer for like one specific thing. And their best player is also happens to be their biggest weakness in the playoffs. It's like, very interesting. Rudy Gobert yeah, weird. to be like a a twenty point, a ten rebound, eight block a night guy <laughs> is their worst playoff player. So they, I think it's the same podcast. They were talking about like the way that the Jazz are constructed, their perimeter defense is like just god awful, which means that they are constantly just have to play drop coverage, which means they just send people at Rudy. Um, which because that's the only way that they can play defense, and it it works out regular season because he's a leader and teams don't like have a week to game plan against you. Yeah. Um, and some teams are shit though, and not every team, you know, exactly that that, that as well. It's just you're just not going to commit as much to like a single game plan for a regular season game, like because it doesn't yeah, matter. That you much. can't. Playoff time comes around, and their perimeter defense is still ass. They still have to drop coverage every single time. Teams can like work around that pretty quickly. Um, it's just like I don't know like where they kind of go from here because it's like you trade Rudy, your perimeter defense still sucks, and now and, like whatever you and might they get move back. Joe Ingles, who was money. like one of their best perimeter defenders. So they have a bunch of scorers and a big man who doesn't score, and they don't Eagles like out, to have their big score. Yeah, for sure. Like, not for just this year, just in general. I got you. I got you. I got you. He was always their best perimeter defender. But, like, yeah. yeah, no, that team doesn't – I don't think that team works as currently constructed, even though they're always a top five seed at minimal. They're, they're the Pacers. Excellent regular season game. Yeah. These are the Pacers. the Pacers. Like, oh, you're a team who, like – Gets to the playoffs. Every, the Pacers have never been good enough to get the one. They team. were like damn near like elite though, man. Like a couple years yeah, ago, like like, but just their outcome always ends like that. Like, oh, you played the good team. Yeah, no, you you had nothing for them, and you're drafting uh eight or sorry, not eight, twelve to twenty four every year. Yeah. yeah, so you're not really getting better. The only the only way you can get better is like the draft or a trade. So it's yeah, like no one's going to come. Donovan Sunday. Mitchell and Rudy Gobert at twelve and seventeen, yeah. like getting lucky on like all time players who happen to not like each other in any way, shape, or form. Yeah, man, that's rough. <laughs> Someone's got to blow yeah. up there. I just really wonder how they where they go from here with that. I feel like moving Gobert's the option because I feel like even though Donovan Mitchell is very much. Um, like he definitely Russell deserves Westbrook. some blame too. He he definitely deserves some blame. I just feel like if you put the right team around him, you have a better chance than putting a good team around Rudy Gobert. Because like, wh- what does a good team around Rudy Gobert look like? A bunch of like wing defenders who can also shoot a bunch of three and D guys. Paul George and uh, Rudy Gobert would probably look great together. <laughs> put Rudy Gobert <laughs> on the Clippers. Put Rudy Gobert on the Clippers with Kawhi Leonard and uh, Paul George. Best team of all time. You'd have no fucking answer for them. It's you gotta happen. pay like salary cap into it too, though. Like, what? Because I know his, his salary happen? cap. No, he's like forty-five yeah. million. He's at the yeah. Russell Westbrook. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. It's never gonna happen. And Donovan Mitchell's gonna be there soon. I'm sure. Yeah, but he'll be on the Knicks when that happens. So, so good. very likely. Hey, him and Julius Randle might be nice together. Hey, no oh. played, but uh, don't wish that on me. It's gonna be fun. Obi we top is starting for the next six year. Oh, Julius is gone. Yeah, Obi dropped forty in the last game, so you know it's up. Mm, yeah, I saw like the low box score for the last couple so, games. So yeah. did Austin Reeves. Austin didn't put up no goddamn forty. Stop. <laughs> he had thirty five, didn't he? Yeah, he had like forty. Yeah, that ain't forty. Oh, 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 okay. That ain't forty. All right, all right, all right. All Obi right, and right. Quick running the show. Um. Uh, rest of the playoff. Do, do, do y'all? I mean, East. I think you guys have been constant with the Bucks, right? I'm still on the Bucks. Still on the Bucks, yes, sir. Bucks fan number one, right here. 
I'm gonna go Celtics on the spooky tip though. Celtics doing it. I all? think they beat. I think they beat the Nets in seven. Mm, that's gonna be a good series. I think they win in seven. Is it? Is there five players better than Jason Tatum? Oh, uh, in the NBA. Mm-hmm. I think Luca's better. I don't. Nope. 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 It's close, though, right? <laughs> I think Luca's better. Uh, it is close. I think it's close. But I don't think Luca's better. It was crazy, like, at a point, like, it was, like, him or Jalen Brown kind of, like, do what yeah. you want to do. But now, like, I don't know, Jason Tatum's, like, um, clearly the best player on that team. For sure. Jalen Brown's not no scrub either, but. No, yeah, he's good. He's an all-star. He just. God damn. Tatum's just better. Oh, dude, right. J- Jason Tatum, if he's not top five, he's definitely, like, a top seven, top eight guy. Because if I had the name five so, players better, I'd probably go, what, Steph? Steph Brown. Steph Braun, Kevin Giannis, and Luca. I don't got Braun anymore. Ooh. Yeah, this might be spicy, like... but Braun, Braun's defense is gone now. <laughs> so all you got is the bucket. <laughs> Braun's defense might not be as bad as a lot of people's. I'm not saying it's as good as Jason Tatum's. Braun's defense ain't completely gone. It's not completely gone. Sliding down. I will say that I think I have Braun outside my top five, though. You, you, you ain't fighting through them screens like he used to, man. Yeah, because I'd have I'd have Giannis, I'd have KD, I'd have Jokic, I'd have Embiid, I'd have Tatum. Um, I got Luka, I'd probably man. have Braun right there after those guys. And then, uh, I have Curry, and I think I might have Braun above Curry. But they're like the same. <laughs> I think I have them the same. You Steph above Braun right now. Man. Uh, either way, um, Miami versus Atlanta. Uh, I think Miami. Miami, Miami six. Really. Yeah. Yep. That's guaranteed. Um, Trail go off. Well, the Toronto. I think uh, that's just going. to is going to be too much. And then Toronto's a good team though. But but mind yeah. you, uh, Philly, Philly doesn't have Thibel in any of the Toronto games, so he's missing three and- games. And yeah, they'll get back. They can't play it. no defense. So Scotty Barnes is gonna get loose then. You yeah, worried about Scotty I mean, Barnes right now? Yeah. Like so Philly's you, defense you after they yeah. everybody wasn't all that good. You think no, they beat Philly Tyro? I do. All right, how, but let's bet twenty dollars on it. No, we'll go to the casino and we'll do it. We'll put it no, 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 just between me and you. If you believe <laughs> in right. someone, bet me twenty dollars. No, bet we'll put a ticket on it. We'll put a ticket on it. That way it's better. It's crazy. We'll talk about it off here. You'd rather give the not white man his money, but because it'll be worth more money than twenty dollars if one of us is right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anyway, um, yeah, I'm taking Toronto. Chicago is up for you, bud. You don't play good well against yeah. good teams. Yeah, they're about to Milwaukee. Win. They're about Milwaukee to walk in for. Yeah, it might be <laughs> five gentlemen sweep. Yeah, that's gonna be ugly. Um, then we are seven, seven, seven for Boston Brooklyn, seven. yeah. Seven for Brooklyn over Boston. I got seven Boston, Boston. Seven. Okay. I'm taking Boston. Let me get, let, ooh, let me get Boston in six. I like Boston in six. Damn, all three of us are on it. That's how I know it's not happening yeah. now. Yep, so, it's gonna be KD puts up 50 every game. <laughs> yeah, uh, the, sleep the one in the Phoenix the in three. Game, this game isn't over yet, though. The, for the eight seed, this the NBA just filled it in, but Clippers are still playing the Pelicans for the play in right now. Phoenix, okay, well, either way, three. yeah, either way, they're getting fucked Fe- up. Whoever plays, yeah, Phoenix. I think Phoenix is winning in four. Either way, they're Phoenix by the off. first half. <laughs> <laughs> by the first half of the first game, the series is over. Yep. Utah in six. Ooh. Mm. Well, Luca's not playing game one, and they say he might not be available for game two. Either. Yeah, exactly. right. No, no, Luca, no, Luca. Give me Utah too. Yeah. Mm. He's guilty. Do yeah, if he doesn't play. Yeah. He's definitely not playing one, but they say he might not play game two either. He said in six. I like in six. Utah in six. Yeah, yeah. just in case Luca comes back and somehow goes crazy. Yeah, he's gonna steal a couple yeah. games. Maybe yeah. it might be Utah in five. I would, with no I'd say Utah in five. Yeah, I like Utah in five. Damn. Okay, did, did the band put it back together again one more time in Golden State? Hey, Golden State in five. Damn, dude. So, I know Steph's, I think Golden State in six. 
That's I don't depends on like Curry's health, but I think I like Golden State in six. I'm, I Jordan do think Golden, been so damn good this year. Golden State in six, just I'm because cool it seems like Jokic every year be taking teams to six or seven by himself. It doesn't really matter who's playing. So yeah. I like them in six, but I really I I'm gonna say Golden State in five, but six wouldn't surprise me because Jokic winning two games on his own isn't like crazy. And- and Denver's not looking like they're going to be one of them teams where their stars you missed the whole entire year come back in the playoffs right now. I haven't heard that kind of talk over there. No, no they've they've confirmed Murray and um, Porter Jr. Porter Jr. Are out. They're done. But Dozier, Dozier coming back? I haven't heard anything about him. No. But yeah, the two best, the second and third best player on the team are not coming back. Uh, this might be up for them then. Yeah, but I, I think that Golden State in five, because I could just see Jokic like, Willing that team to a win. I uh, think the, too. the most fun series, I think, in the entire playoffs. That's going to be the saddest one to end, though. Like, for real. Because no one wants to see either of them teams go away. 100%. But this just seems like what should be. I don't know if it will be. But what should be, like, the young, like. Oh, sure? We're going we're to see Memphis this a couple more six. times. I'm taking Memphis, Memphis six. And six as well. Yeah. Yeah, this is a better team. Cat cat's still not showing no fight for me, dog, and that's not looking good. You're not wrong. But You're ideally, wrong. those two teams should be playing like one should have Dallas and one should have um Utah. For so that way you can get those teams that nobody wants to see the fuck out of here and get them in a later round with heightened like circumstances. I don't know how that would work out, how they who have to lose and win and shit, but I'd rather see that happen than we lose these these uh one of these two young teams in the first round. Uh, Minnesota would have to win uh, three more games, four more games. Uh, so that's if Cat tried. Yeah. I mean, he was doing a lot of shouting and stomping. I think he tried. Uh, he like, yeah, come here, stomping. baby. It's a big moment. Doug, why did they show him making out with her at the end of the game? Uh, Pat Bev yeah, behind him worried. standing on the table. She was did crazy. We that? <laughs> Nasty man. Did you All see right, well, it? Yeah. That's the uh, inside of the NBA. Like they made a compilation of playing like we are the champion over like <laughs> I'm celebrating. I did. I did. <laughs> it was money. I loved it. It was great. The, Twitter ruins everything. What else were they supposed to do? It was still funny, bitch. What are you talking about? Mm-hmm. Like exactly. I, I don't care if they celebrated like they won the like they're the champions. It was funny that they played yeah. the song. I tried to explain to people on Reddit. I was like, yo, like y'all. I completely get what's going on here because if the Mariners won a playoff game, Facts. it would be some shit like this in Seattle, Facts. probably. Facts. <laughs> but I wouldn't be surprised that people are making fun of me for like we make fun of any college team that storms the court when it's like Vanderbilt just beat Kentucky. Why are they storming the court? Like, yep, because they beat Kentucky, nigga. What are you talking about? That don't happen. Yeah, they're they are literally existing in the SEC to collect paychecks. They're not here to win games. Actual. Got that off. All right. Uh, the snowfall over? Uh, no. Oh, I haven't watched this week's episode. But I'm like, I did. Man. I did watch this week's episode. I need to watch Snowfall. I need to watch oh, Moon Knight. I'm behind on Blake, everything. Like, you're two weeks behind. <laughs> so you didn't see Moon the Moon. Acid episode? Um, no. Last That's time I saw him, was watched. looking for peaches, and he like went to the dope house and just like had the whole entire PD- PTSD thing. Yeah, I'm just telling you that there's a whole episode where everybody is on acid, and I just hope me and my niggas can do acid together one day. I got some ready to go for y'all right now. Yeah, all right, officer. I will not be partaking in any stuff like this. Yeah, never mind. I'm not gonna put it on camera. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Please don't. Please. <laughs> um, no, I see that. Oh, did you, you, you guys about- notice uh, but- the nigga that's Kane on there is a uh, is a uh, the dude from Winter Time, Norm Nixon's son that's playing him. Yeah. Yep. Kane on no. Mm. Yep. That's Debbie Allen's son as well, which is hilarious. Oh, for real? Yeah. Oh, I didn't know that. Felicia Rashad is his uh, is his auntie. And he on there. Does it look like I'm hiding a little nigga? That was tough he, though. He's not a huxtable. It was tough. Yeah, it he is so far. He's he's terrifying. And uh, he's, um, he's even scary on winning time. Blake, have you started watching winning time? I told you I watched like the first episode and a half. Yeah, he's not fucking with it like that. Yeah, I, I something was wrong with me. I know. I 
my mind be fried after watching Mickey Mouse Clubhouse all day. And then I try to put that on and like get going with it, but I just can't. Blake loves Nothing. story and he also hates story at the same time. Yeah, no, it's a, it's a fact. That's why I mean, Halo, Halo is turning around for me a little bit. I'll say that much. Um, I gotta watch episode three, three and four is out now, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah. I just it's pissing me off like how much he takes off his goddamn helmet though like because even in the books Chief doesn't do that like so I don't know. I've seen such so. mixed reviews on that even still like what four or five episodes in we're like some people had a like, really good scene in, in the third episode. It's worse every episode. Some people are saying it's better every episode. Um, it's, both of it, y'all are torn on it. It's some bullshit right now. I'm not going. I'm not going. It's some bullshit right now. Like that. Do you think it so Blake? You're not a big fan of it. Do you think it it's going in a direction where it'll get better, or you think no, it's just like no. the show's just not good? The and I would I would really need to talk to somebody that doesn't like know shit about Halo that is watching this and see okay. what they think of well, it. Well, I'll watch my it man is jaded, and shit. this is like, yeah, it's because of that, it's like fucked up. It's like, what are y'all doing? Like, they're making Chief like way more special than he is. Like as far as like his time before he was a Spartan and shit like that, they're making that like into some other shit that it never was. Like he was like just kind of a bigger kid. He had like red hair. Chief is a ginger that that's not talked about, but he's not in the show. Um, he was just a bigger kid that had, like a high level of drive. He's almost like Captain America, right? Except except he wasn't like criminally frail. No, um, he's Brock Lesnar. Basically, yeah. Um, he but he, except he, like yeah, he doesn't have like the insane sense of justice or nothing like that. He just. Had a high level of drive. He liked to win. They took him into the Spartan program. He kept on winning. He could complete the mission and shit like that. And that's what he that's what he was about. But now they have it like his he was a part of like some experimental program with his parents where they're trying to like co like make planets like into habitable shit. Um, he touched like some forerunner object when he was a kid. That's why the shit works now. It's like all the shit that never fucking happened. Like you made him like yeah. into this super special being when the special thing about him was how excellent he was in, in combat and in the field and shit like that. Like that was what was cool about Chief. Like, I don't know. They're just, they're doing some weird shit and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not on board with it, but I'm gonna keep watching cause I fuck with Halo, but it's just like dog, like yo, it's like the, the videos were like the, the Spanish mommies are watching people make Mexican rice and they're like, why the fuck are y'all putting that in there? Yeah, like I'm sure it's tasty, but I'm just like that's not what the, what the rice is supposed to be. That's a ridiculous comparison. <laughs> no, that makes sense though. That's a good one. No, that's hilarious. I hate this nigga's mind. That was a good one. He pulled that out of his ass. Yeah, that's funny as fuck. I'm getting punked do, over here though. I do be loving those. All right. Oh well, shit! Do I need to talk about this? Leave the dog. We can come back next week. Blake, are you get are, are you getting your father on the draft show? No, nah, man, but I come on. No, nah, man, nah, man Ty, nah, me and Tyrell show, man. Bros of Destruction Part Two. Let's get it. We gonna know. We gonna I think getting, Blake. I think getting Blake's dad on there would be lit. <laughs> oh my god, dude. All right, Blake I gonna enjoy his family. All right. Peace. I'm oh. I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs>